celebrating with the celebrants in the name of Jesus. I also want us to lift up our voice and to pray that every equipment, the internet, every, all the connections, everything shall work well tonight. That everything shall work well. Lift up your voice and ask the Almighty God, Father, let everything be well tonight. Let all the equipments work well. Let the internet connection be perfect tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, I want us to also pray that as many people as are joined with us tonight for this party, that they, they will, many will leave this place with encounter. Many will receive a touch from God. Many will receive an experience that they will not recover from. Many will receive blessing that they will not recover from. In the name of Jesus, I also want us to pray that in the course of this party tonight, that the word of God shall have a free course. That word of God that will make meaning, that will set someone free. Let the word come. Let the word come. Let the word come. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. I want us to pray that that as Pastor Olive celebrates her fiftieth birthday tonight, he will not regret this party. She will not regret this congregation. I, I, the, the, the things that happen to many that after celebration, they will say, oh, that woman just celebrated something and something happened. That, let us pray that no evil shall happen to her. No evil shall happen to her family. No evil shall happen to any members of the ministry. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray for this celebration for Pastor Olive that the Hela Koshekata, the conclusion, of this party, of this celebration, will not lead to tears, will not lead to regret. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray for her. I also want you to pray that I look at she can, that going forward, there shall be more celebration in the lives of past in the life of Pastor Dayo. I look at Satai Karabokosha, lift up your voice and pray that this party tonight will be a landmark one that will set her up. I look at she can, to go to another level in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We are grateful to you. So our Father, we come before you tonight and we say thank you. Thank you for a wonderful life that have reached 50. Thank you for a wonderful life that is still going to 100. Thank you, O oh Lord, our Father, for the gathering tonight. Thank you for everyone, every single person that is joining with us tonight. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being part of this. Thank you for your good hand that is upon us tonight. We bless your holy name. And oh, everything shall be perfect tonight. The celebration shall be joyous in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor Ijo Babatunde. You're always consistently consistent. I'm always happy to see you on all these collaborations online. So God bless you. And my love to my namesake. Okay, so it's good to see everybody here. Again, my name is Tony. I'm the wordsmith and I'll be your MC for tonight. It is such a pleasure and a privilege to be here. I want to show you guys something. So basically, this is whom we're celebrating tonight. Please don't hate. I'm one of the very first few recipients of this amazing... Now I have mama's face in my house, people. So I came ready with my cup of tea. So if you don't have your cup of tea and you don't have this mug, don't be dismayed. Just get a cup of tea and have a seat. We're about to have fun, okay, people? So I'm super excited. My mama D is 50. Oh my days, she doesn't even look it. But anyway, that's a story for another day. So thank you all so much for being on here tonight. We're going to have so much fun. I promise you guys, we're going to have so much fun. Now, I said I was going to speak about the rules, right? Now, um, a lot of you have already obeyed that. So give your hand, yourself a hand pat on the back. Well done. We're going to make sure we keep muted at all times. It is very important that while we are, so, we are on this Zoom meeting, okay, that we ensure that we are aware of back ground noise so if you're unmuted we would hear the noise in your background and everything so you need to stay muted except you're spotlighted or speaking okay and everyone who would speak would have your name mentioned especially if your name was sent in prior to now or you can feel free to send me a message in the meantime before i go on to our next part of this program can i just applaud all those who i didn't have to tell about the laws of a zoom part these people I, I, you can tell they are omb people on this platform because they already 
be writing their comments on their birthday tributes without me saying nothing. Kudos to you people. I celebrate you. Now, there are many bishops and pastors and pastoresses on here. So if I don't put brethren in front of your name, trust me, I am not rude. I acknowledge you all. I'm only going to read from what I can see. So from GD Tiwo, happy birthday, our first lady. Thank you so much, sir, for that. From Bolade Adebayo, happy birthday, mama. From Timmy S, happy birthday, dearest mama. From Tipti Lokwe Oshuni, happy golden birthday celebration, more fruitful years. Happy birthday, mama, wishing you more of God's grace and increasing glory, amen. And that's from Yomi and Gloria Adeoye. And then from Kemi Ajayi, happy birthday to D. Dio, alias Ia Yard. I know, right? Thank you for attending this party. Oh, this is good. Okay, so that's from Kemi Ajayi. Be inspired, beloved celeb d dial woman of elohim mm -mm, chosen elevated vessel thank you so much and uh bianca says happy birthday to a first lady bami dele wale oshinawa says happy golden jubilee to my dearest friend and um happy birthday timmy dial from dr a that will do uh, Tommy Lola, Tammy Lola says happy 50th birthday to my best friend. 40 years of knowing you. Olua Tony Baba. Oh, that's my name, six. Happy birthday, Ma. Titi Shabs. Happy birthday, Mama Licious. This is a this is a party going trendy person. God bless you, Sister Treasure. Okay, Janet. Oh yeah, sweet mommy. Happy birthday from Pistila. Happy 50th birthday from Omalola. Unwokoma. The Oye Tunjis. Happy 50th birthday. Happy birthday, Mama. Great grace and greater heights from the Abisalat. Endurance. Happy birthday. Happy birthday from De Deus. Oh, oh. Okay, from Yumika and Aki. Okay, I'm going to stop now with the tributes, but thank you. Keep them coming. You guys are amazing already. Thank you. Now, what I want you to do also is write all those fun times or how you even met Pastor Dio. That's going to make it fun. Okay, so just write happy birthday. I've read all the happy birthdays now. So also write some fun memories and all of that and attach it to your messages. God bless you. So we're going to go on to the very next part of this. And I would like us to sit close and listen oh by the way we are on youtube like fast screen mirror eh? maybe but this should be on youtube hallelujah somebody's unmuted the first rule is broken nobody's listening to me please listen mute yourself because you would hear yourself speaking please mute yourself there's a youtube link and someone has put it on the chat admin i'm gonna have to beg you because brother or pastor gd has asked a couple of times to put the link on there uh, thank you endurance family please put it on there so that people can give it to friends and family zoom is now full we can't take any more however if you keep talking over the program we will boot you out and get more people in because we have people waiting outside amen okay we don't want to do that because we invited you all right so please let's keep to the rules and let's not be unmuted okay so um uh we're going to go to the next tribute but can i read this from wale e to every i know this is uncle wale because i saw his tribute today and he was crying people wait for it to my one and only biological aburo happy birthday we meet at a hospital when mommy and daddy came to take you home and now i had to share my oh bless he's he's so humorous i tell you i've never seen anyone like him he's so full of humor and so emotional i love that uncle wally all right okay people we're gonna go to tributes one is media ready for me let me see somebody wave at me so i know um all right in the chat if media is ready with tribute one and we can go ahead and have tribute a please and again if you need to send the youtube link it's on there send it to somebody if uh, media is not ready i can keep reading tributes uh, i just need someone to tell me either in the chats i'm in the chat so anyone can tell me i can keep reading tributes and then you can tell me if if media is ready someone can tell me in the chats or baba or mama can message me because no one's told me yet all right from tola okay happy birthday to the most youthful 50 year old i know right happy birthday and many happy returns from ibi kunle ajai god bless you thank you so much he says bless you richly with long life and good health and granting you your heart desires Happy birthday, Mama, from Wendy. 
Happy birthday to the world's best mama D. I love you too much, mama. This is from Francisca Mweke and family. And that is from George Mweke. Again, there are many bishops and pastors, CEOs and um, geos on this platform. If I do not put any prefixes before your name, trust me, I've put it there in the spirit. So please don't be offended. We, I hope they have not paid you yet. They need Uncle Wally, I love you already. That's why I'm talking to you, sir, because you know, it's important. <laughs> Ooh, okay, people. So, ah, the media is ready. All right, then I'm going to stop talking for a sec. I know I love the sound of my own voice, but we need to stop and hear other people speak. Catch you guys later and don't unmute or we put you into the YouTube team. God bless you. What a joy to officially welcome you to the fifth floor where grace flows ceaselessly. God bless you and keep you and continually be gracious to you. He shall continually be kind, very kind to you. In the name of Jesus, you will go well. You will do your good. He will perfect everything that concerns you. He will continue to honor you. Proverbs 4.18, the message translation says, The longer you live, the brighter you will shine. I receive that for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for being a blessing. A colossal one, a generational one. We thank God for you and Bishop and your children. Your path shines brighter and brighter in the name of Jesus. Beautiful woman of God. Combination of brain and beauty. Sam, spiritual. Welcome to the fifth floor. Welcome to unusual grace. Love you, love you, love you so much. Forget Felix and teach you. Happy birthday, Pastor Olive Olor Shaye. We celebrate you today and just want to say happy 50th birthday. Welcome to the club. Hallelujah. We trust God that your life will be so beautiful. Listen, it's good and it's beautiful on this side. As you clock 50, we pray for you that your years will be more beautiful ahead of now. We pray for you that you will see a renewal of your youth. In fact, may you begin to look younger in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you, your husband, your children, and your generations after you. May your generations after you call you blessed. And all the lives that you are blessed, may they blossom before your face. And through their lives, may you see the reward of the Lord in the land of the living in the name of Jesus. I remember many years ago how it was that you came in to help and to serve with me. And I bless God for where God has taken you to. You're a great woman of God. We're so proud of you. You're such an amazing person, amazing soul. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you. And I know that God has given you, apart from your biological children, sons and daughters in the gospel. And may you make it in, good, in greatness in the mighty name of Jesus. And when you appear before the Lord Jesus, may he say, well done, good and faithful servant, enter into your rest. We love you so much. Happy birthday. Happy golden jubilee. Yes, you've been such a great joy to our lives. You've touched us in a very special way when we were a very young couple and right. we're a very young couple indeed. In our early 20s, you were there to just stand by ours and to just support ours. And so we are not surprised today how God is using you and our beloved bishop in ministry. I mean, we are just so excited and happy for you. Our God is so gracious. He's been so good over the years. And we continue to be very proud of you as we see you as an exceptional woman of God, a right. great wife, a right. fantastic mother. Mm -hmm. And we prophesy, I mean, just as God has blessed us to be grandparents today, you will know the joy of grandparenting Amen. by the grace of our God. Amen. With long life, will the Lord satisfy you. Amen. 
Amen. and show you his salvation. Amen. The older you grow, the brighter you shine. Amen. And as your days are, so shall your strength be Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We love and celebrate you. We love you. Welcome to you to the Club of the 50s. Yes. Happy Golden Jubilee to you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Happy, happy, happy birthday, Pastor Olive. It's such an awesome joy to rejoice with you. Wow, 50 already. How time has flown. Um, our prayer for you and our desire for you is that in this 50th year, that the long-term desires of your heart, which you are beginning to think that when, Lord, when, Lord, the Lord will bring them to fruition Amen. in Jesus' name. We pray that he will bring you into his presence in a new and a different dimension Amen. so that you would experience the fullness of joy. On behalf of my husband and I, we rejoice with you, with Bishop Yomi, with the children and the entire CCLC family. That's happy, right. happy birthday. Amen. Glory to God, Pastor Holy. We really thank God for your life. Wow, 50. Wow, it's not a yoke like they used to say. <laughs> we thank God for your life and we thank God for all that you stand for. We thank God for your commitment to God, to the ministry, to your family, to the friends around you. We thank God for everything that God has been able to uh, use, do, uh, use you to do in, in life and ministry, your achievements, everything. Wow, 50 uh, birthday. Uh, celebration come on it's a great one and we pray in the name of Jesus that God will continually bless you Amen. lift you Amen. and cause his face to shine upon you Amen. in Jesus name everything you touch shall be successful Amen. the Lord will continually bless your life bless your home bless your ministry in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. more grace more anointing we love you we celebrate you and we pray that you know uh, let's say seven uh, 25, uh, 30, 40, 50 years to this time, we will still celebrate Amen. you in Jesus' mighty Amen. name. So, like my wife said, on the behalf of the family, our our ministry, and uh, the entirety of uh, the Timothy, we say, God bless you. Happy celebration. Amen. Praise the Lord. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Deus Popo. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, darling. Your best years lie ahead. This is the beginning of the rest of your life. You go from glory to glory, from grace to grace, in the mighty name of Jesus. Enjoy your day, my darling. I love you so much. Mwah. My name is uh, Pastor Michael Babatunde, and this is my um, wife. I am Uluwatoi Babatunde. We have come to celebrate the 50th birthday of our dear sister, uh, Pastor Mrs. Olive Gayo Olorun Shayi. And um, we want to say, Ma, um, that you're a great woman of God. You, um, God has blessed you with so much virtue, and we can see that in you and in the works of your hands. And um, we pray that as God has kept you till now, for his purpose, the Lord will continue to keep him in the Amen. name of Jesus. The mercy of God has kept you thus far will continue to keep you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Name. He will not depart from you in Jesus' name. Amen. And every work that he has committed to your hands that has impacted the world so far, the Lord will continue to uphold you and you, you will not you will not miss it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every work he has given to you to do on this earth, you will not miss it in Jesus' name. Amen. You have uh, you have gotten to the second half mm -hmm. of life and this is payback time yes. you have labored so much yes. and so hard yes. and this is your time of reward Amen. be expectant Amen. there Amen. shall be reward Amen. from above Amen. from from your children Amen. from your husband Amen. from the members that you yes. have labored over Amen. there shall be rewards coming Amen. to you and it shall be in good health Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. When you lose, it shall be loosed. Amen. When you buy, Amen. it shall be bound. Amen. The Almighty God will bless the rest of Amen. your days. Jesus it shall be filled with joy. Amen. We celebrate with you, man. Amen. And we are looking forward to many, 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 many yes. more years Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Pastor Dio, congratulations. <laughs> Happy you, birthday to you. God bless you, man. God bless you. Bye. Bye. Happy birthday to my sister and friend of many years. I celebrate with you today. I know turning 50 is actually a big deal. 
and I am happy and thankful for you. I remember our college days together, Rema days together, days never to be forgotten. I am thankful for you in many ways. Um, little did we know that God was actually preparing you for an office this big, but we celebrate the goodness of God. I am particularly grateful for all what God has taken you through, where you are and where you're going. And so this is wishing you a happy 50th birthday. Many, many more reasons to rejoice. I celebrate the fact that you have prioritized God in your life above every other thing. He that has brought you this far will take you on and carry you through. Once again, on behalf of myself and family, I say many, many happy returns. Love you loads. Hi, Pastor Oni, Olong Chaye, happy 50th birthday. 50 definitely looks good on you. May it be to you a year of jubilee, a year that you will enter God's rest, a year of favor, a year of increase, a year of blessing. May you rise to greater heights in him, in the mighty name of Jesus. May your generation and this, uh, who, uh, the, the, the people of the world, may, may, may they rise up to call you blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you real good. Have a wonderful time, woman of God, and enjoy. 50 definitely looks good on you. God bless. Bye-bye. God bless you and congratulations, woman of God. We celebrate with you today. And we thank God for your life. You don't look pretty. When Pastor said he made it to me that you are pretty, I said, wow. You look so young, so beautiful. We thank God for you. And my prayer for you today is that the rest of your life will be the best of your life. In the name of Jesus, I pray for more grace, more anointing, more blessing of God to locate your life. The Bible says the path of the righteous is the light, like the light of the dawn that shine brighter and brighter on the perfect day. I pray that your light will shine brighter and brighter in the name of Jesus. Whatever you are believing God for, may heaven and heart grant them to you in Jesus' name. We all love you. We love your family. We appreciate you. We thank God for you. And uh, make sure you enjoy your day, have fun, and I believe God will do that the next 50 years of your life shall be better and greater. In all dimensions in Jesus' name. God bless you. We celebrate with you. Congratulations, Congrats. woman of God. God bless your family. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Pastor Oli. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Pastor It is such a delight to wish you a happy, happy birthday. Go to Jubilee, not for that. Jubilee celebration. Oh, my money. We're so grateful to all that God has done with you, right. through you, right. and for you. And we're excited about the greater things that lie ahead. Hallelujah. It's a joy that it's to wish you happy birthday. And trust that indeed the Lord God Almighty will continually show himself mighty towards you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You live long, man. Amen. You live well. Amen. Uh, your strength will not be abated. Amen. The Lord will advance you uncommonly. He will uphold you, Amen. defend your inheritance, Amen. protect your lot. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Enjoy your day. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, my beloved sister and pastor, Timida Yola Rishai. Congratulations as you celebrate your 50th birthday. Uh, the Lord bless you richly and immensely in Jesus' name. You are a great woman, a woman with a great gift, and I believe you're a gift to the body of Christ and to the world. As you continue your journey, I pray for you that the Lord of hosts will open up unto you new dimensions of his grace and new proportions of anointing in the name of Jesus. May you experience wider grounds, brighter days, higher grounds, deeper depths, and wider spheres. God bless you immensely as you celebrate. Congratulations, uh, my beloved sister and pastor. I uh, wish you long life, prosperity, and good health. You are welcome to the club. God bless you. We love you. We love you. Happy birthday, sister. Olorun Sorotemi Dayo. Olive Olorun Shaye. Happy Golden Jubilee. 
I wish you a long life and prosperity. You've been a wonderful sister, a great minister of God. As your days have, so shall your strength be in Jesus' name. Amen. I bless God for you that on this day that you're celebrating your, uh, your 50th uh, birthday anniversary, I pray that you will grow from grace to grace, from glory to glory, from strength to strength in the name of Jesus. Amen. As your days have, so shall your strength be. On behalf of my husband, of myself, my husband, and the children, um, Damalari Privé and our Yafeo Oluwa, we want to wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Love from all of us. Happy birthday. Okay. Wow. Thank you so much for that tribute. Oh my gosh. I was literally concentrating and trying to listen. You would think it was my birthday, right? Uncle Wally had to give me a shout out. Smile. Hmm? I am hungry. So hopefully we'll get to item seven soon. Right, people. But anyway, I hope you are having a nice time this happy Sunday. God bless you. I can cite mama. Can you guys, can somebody spotlight her for a second? Those lashes are speaking. I love you, mama. All right. So thank you so much all for being here once again. We love you, love you, love you. Okay. This is um, a, a mama's uh, birthday and I'm sure you know why we are here. But again, I just want to read some tributes. You guys listen to some tributes that were going on there. Mama is quite famous. You know, you must be excited. You know her. I saw some serious, it was like a gathering of men of God, mighty men of aristocracy of Ecclesia. Did you see Reverend Victor Adeyemi, Mama Funka Adeyemi? The caliber was serious. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be in the numbers. Amen, people. I'm rubbing off on the anointing. <laughs> okay, so we have some tributes in the chat. Please put your tributes in there because they will be read. I also want to find out about, you know, uh, a few things about mama that we all don't know. I don't want you to talk about the mama in the pulpit. Please don't be holy about your tributes, people of God. Tell us about the things we don't know. Apparently today I found out that she can be naughty and nice, <laughs> strict yet sweet. Oh, every human is a bundle of contradictions, but she carries it well, people. Okay, so I want you to put everything in that chat box so I can read them. There's one here. I was expecting more in this chat, but I thought it was leading somewhere that she didn't want to share. But anyway, I'll read it. Happy birthday, Ore. Wow, where do I start from with this beautiful spirit from our UI days reading together into the night in the nursing department. Dio, can you remember the night we were walking back to the village in the middle of the night with some friends? I'm really wondering what kind of studies that was, but that's okay. We saw a car at the top of the hill and the occupants must have heard what we were saying. Hey, Lord God. And as we passed the car, they turned on the headlights like the movie we were referring to and we ran so hard. I I still look at your pictures of your wedding day last year when I was rummaging to my photos and I remember the praise party we had at your house. I think it was the 21st. I could go on. I love you loads, dearest one. And that is Olukemi Ardalas Baki. I cannot pronounce that, but I'm sure that's what it is. Again, if I do not put a bishop in front of your name, bishop rest, anointed one, or man or woman of God, trust me, I've said it in my spirit before I said it already. Okay, I'm just reading according to your names on the chat okay god bless you and thank you so much again you can also use her pet names i found a few there's one they use papa <laughs> woman of god another d some so, so they've called you a few names a few I, one of them i love is oluwa sotemida your leave so she combined both your first names uh oluwa sotemida your leave i like that was from shadi adibanjo that was really pretty but somebody else also called you or lauren sora temida your i do not know which one is your real name right so you probably tell us when you come on okay but i just wanted to point that out god bless you and also you went to federal government college shagamo and you grew up in ijebo day ah let me see where that is somebody mentioned that here but i can't remember her name when i see it shout out to you ma thank you for telling us where she grew up that's really good and then olayemi thomas says you were both roommates in final year of university all the way in 1995 gosh mama you're old all right people it's her 50th okay and she doesn't look a day over 15 but 1995 Come on, God bless you. My dad calls her D. Okay, so that's where they got D from. All right, Mama, mm, you look sweet. God bless you. All right, so we're going to go to the next tributes. <laughs> 
the next tributes guys if you're not in final year in 1995 you're a junior 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 to this woman of god you see how serious this these dates coming out here are to me i'm loving them already okay so uh -huh. someone said no view of the celebrant you see mom i'm not the only one to see you won't see your face someone said we have no view of the celebrant can we have on spotlight so we can see you now yes uh, don't worry i know i like the sound of my own voice but they don't need to see me to hear me and that's okay all right okay so we're going to go to the next set of tributes please media you know i can go on forever do message me if you're ready Are you ready? I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me And all my days I've been held in your head From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head Oh, I will sing Of the goodness of God
Praise God. Oh, that was so beautiful, Mama. I don't know how you're not crying. You know, I noticed pictures of Mama there and Papa. Oh, my gosh. I, I don't know how you're not in tears, but I, I, I got to know Grandma. So I think it's really touching just watching that part of your life. So it's really beautiful. And the way you could talk about them in church today without, no, you know, just the way you carry the story about them and not with sadness, but with great joy. And it makes part of your entire story. So we celebrate you again today and I'm sure they do. We're going to move on swiftly to the next one. And guys, can you jam your hands together for yourself? Nobody has unmuted yet. I am so proud of you guys. Thank you. Please remain obedient and we would all be happy tonight. Amen. Okay, you put a smile on mama's face already, so let's go. Next up, we're going to listen to a bit of short um, um, exhortation. The next person I'm going to call on doesn't know I'm a, I'm a follower. In fact, you could probably tell I stalk him on social media, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He's a man of God. I'm telling you, he flaunts his love for his wife. I actually secretly attended his uncensored marriage seminar, the whole series online, but he doesn't know me and I know him. I've been following him for almost 20 years, but he doesn't know me, <laughs> but that's okay. I, do, I, I don't think I'm in the position to even introduce him. I know he's a senior pastor of Global Harvest Churches, okay, all over. And I'm like a baby sister to Pastor Bayo, but he does, I remember Victor needs to know me. Anyway, Baba, please do me the honors of, 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 of inviting Reverend Victor to this podium, but I, I need Reverend Victor to know that I love him, man. He needs to know me. Okay, Baba, please, can you please introduce Reverend Victor, please? I need you to please introduce him. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, um, it gives me great pleasure and great delight uh, to invite this man of God. I, I, when we're thinking of who will be able to bring the word today, there is, I mean, it, it was not rocket science. Mm -hmm. uh, Rev has been a brother from another mother, <laughs> has been a father also mm -hmm. to my darling wife, spiritual father. Yes. My wife served uh, not just him, but his own wife also. Mm -hmm. Uh, while they were still uh, uh, young, uh, uh, married. And um, I, I know definitely that they imparted grace yes. upon mm -hmm. her. Uh, the fact that, if, in fact, I remember, uh, if Rev does not mind, I will just say it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the night before I was transferred, I mean, I, I moved, I've been transferred from Rema Chapel in mm -hmm. to Rema Chapel in Baden. And um, I go way back down. I called Rev from Ilefe. In those days, we didn't have mobile phones. So we had to queue up, you know, this analog phone uh, at Nitel to make a phone call. I told him about it and everything. And when I spoke to him, we we're just talking. And I said, ah, Rev, it's good to settle down. He now said, now listen to this. Mm -hmm. I've never said this to anyone. He now said, and I have a daughter in Rema Chapula, she loves the Lord. She, he mentioned her name, Dayo Ekwerokun. I said, really? I said, okay. So, you know, uh, we spoke and we spoke about so many other things. But do you know one thing? I forgot that name mm. completely. Mm. So when I got to Ibadan and I met uh, my wife, I didn't even know she was the one Rev was talking about until the day I, after proposing to her and I took her to Rev, and Rev said, this is the lady I've been talking to that I spoke to you about in the life. I said, oh my God, this is that. I said, yes. <laughs> so it was in the spirit. Funny, Who else yeah. can best speak in the spirit today? Yeah. Rev, I'm so happy to have you here. He's a senior pastor of Global Harvest Church worldwide. And we really appreciate Mama, even though she's not with you there physically, but she's still <laughs> going to speak. We know. Yeah. Welcome with me, my brother from another mother, a great brother in the Lord, Reverend Victor Adeyemi. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bishop. Uh, and I want to say happy birthday to Lady D. Well, yeah. to you, that's another name. <laughs> Uh, you been looking for all the nicknames. Not my own is Lady D. <laughs> That's what I've called her over the years. And uh, we are just so excited to be celebrating your 50th birthday with you today. Um, uh, my wife and I are overjoyed because you are just such a joy to us. You're just such a blessing, uh, just like a bishop is. Your wedding day was one of the was joyous days for me because when you see two people that you love very dearly marrying each other, I just feel very excited 
And when your husband was going to move to Ibada and he was talking about needing a wife to settle down with, of course, your name was the first accusation <laughs> from that church. Because <laughs> and thank God he forgot. So, so I realized it was not my manipulation. It was, it was God's divine guidance. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Your relationship was orchestrated from heaven. Absolutely no doubt about it. Just like our relationship is. Because I remember that, um, you know, I met your husband uh, ways back in the Lord in those days. But we didn't have a close relationship till after I actually left for Ibada. And my wife was singing his name in my ears. Wow. Like, wow, there's just this guy every time he is on the pulpit. It's just like you. He is with because we both shared one thing in common. We both preached passionately and of course the influence of our spiritual father you know uh was also on us uh, and he's still the same he has not changed at all at times talking very gently, like i will do for a few minutes this morning uh bishop can't help himself he is always <laughs> passionately and of course he is one of the greatest favorites of ours in our ministry global others because every time he comes we're always you know exceptionally impacted and always record the largest harvest of souls that we record in, in, in our ministry. So we celebrate you also, Bishop, the chief co-celebrant of today. <laughs> but thank you very much, Lady D, for who you are. Thank you for your humble spirit. Um, we've loved you from ways back since we got to know you. Just out of a heart of, of love and kindness, you were just there, especially uh, for my wife in the early days of our marriage, particularly her first pregnancy, I, I would never forget how much she badly needed help. And she is not that easily trusting. That is one thing I want ah, Not everybody will, just, anybody will just show up and say, I want to help. And she will just embrace the person. But you are the first person I will remember that she truly opened up her heart to in Ibadan and was very much at home and comfortable with. And, um, and you know, and I'll not forget the, 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 the stews and the soups and uh, everything that came out of the kitchen as a result of your help. I, I mean, and then got to, getting to know your entire family. And till today, we just love you all and love your siblings and love your parents. One of the things I love very much whenever we'll come to your home, among many other things, and, and I learned a lot from, from, from your parents, was your relationship with your little dad. You and your dad were close. You had an affectionate relationship. And, and I loved it very, very much. Every time I noticed it, I never talked about it till today, you know, but it was a dream for me that I will have that with my daughters. And thank God he blessed me with three of them. And, and I sure do have it with them also. Um, and I know that it was a good seed sown because usually an affectionate daughter becomes an affectionate wife eventually. Um, and of course, your mom's exemplariness and spiritual things and natural things and was another thing that just made me know that um, except you are the wife of a significant gift to the body of Christ, uh, you will have been a wasted resource. But we are grateful to God <laughs> that you are not a wasted or underutilized resource today, that you are married to the one and only Bishop Yodhiyolong Rishai. Praise God. So I just want to exhort for a few minutes about learning to stay on course. Uh, 50 is the very heart of midlife. When a person is 50, you are really, really at midlife. And if you've lived an impactful and meaningful life by 50, then that means you just need to stay on course. Uh, you will end life uh, being very fulfilled and looking back and being excited about the way you have lived it. Now, the world system has various parameters by which they measure success. Uh, unfortunately, the parameters uh, look like they really are not success at the end of many lives. Many people end up their lives miserable. Some others, it is at the point of their death that you will look at everything they have pursued and wondered what it had amounted to. I mean, it's quite sobering that we've gone through this pandemic uh, since uh, about this time last year. And we've seen thousands upon thousands who have died and we commiserate with everyone who is online right now who has lost one loved one or the other. It's been quite sobering. Even some of us have also had our brush with this pandemic, just like I had, you know, quite uh, about this year. And um, at a time when I had that experience, I just talked to myself, Victor, if this were the end of your life, uh, how would you feel? 
And the first thing was the joy and the fulfillment of having served the Lord from my youth. I, I, I was filled with gratitude to God uh, for that joy of having served the Lord from my youth. The second thing I was grateful to God for was legacy. I knew that from the family standpoint and the ministry standpoint, there was it was not possible for me to die anymore. I will continue to live through other people and, I, and, and the ministry will continue to live on. So that was my second joy. Um, of course, the third thing that came to, to me was a wake up call to realize that certain things after all didn't matter especially the ephemeral material things of this world didn't matter. The ability to pursue God's purpose and to, and to impact the lives of other people, that is what I'll be able to carry with me to eternity, expecting that the Father will say, well done to me. And so while, uh, of course, I came to the conclusion number four, that it was not time to die, <laughs> I said, I knew that there was still so much more to do for the Lord. And for me, I believe that the Lord will give you length of days. He will make your life very, very long. But I want to admonish you to please stay on course. In Psalm 16, verse 11, the psalmist says, you will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy, and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. God sure shows us the path of life. And the first thing a person must have done, if you haven't done it before 50, is to accept yourself. Accept your own uniqueness. Accept your personality. God did not make any mistake. Along the line in my journey, uh, I've had a reason to wonder, wonder, why didn't God just make me a little bit different <laughs> from this? And God never makes mistakes. He certainly never, ever makes mistakes. He made you perfect for your purpose. And I will never forget that statement. Why will the thing that is made say to the thing that made you, why did you make me this way? Especially... I like the King James Version. The thing that is made, say unto the thing that made it, why made this thou me thus? <laughs> you know, you've just got to love and accept your uniqueness, recognize your limitations as a person, uh, and then identify your gifts and talents and your unique design and uh, just accept yourself and love yourself absolutely. There's no point wishing we were somebody else. Absolutely not. It's a waste of time to be wishing we were somebody else. We are just really unique and we should learn to not just accept ourselves, but celebrate ourselves. Because the more we celebrate our uniqueness, the greater we will see this uniqueness make a difference in the world. Number two is to celebrate your heritage. Oh, yes. And thank God you have a very wonderful one. I remember writing an article on integrity not long ago, and I was making references to, uh, to a couple of things I learned from your dad in my discussions with your dad, when he told me about learning to keep one's word. And I was a young man who really, my words were not that important to me at the time. I mean, I could tell somebody, I'll see you tomorrow, uh, knowing fully well that as a sanguine, I could forget. And if I forget, just forgive, just understand that people forget. You know what? <laughs> you know, that told me that a man should always be a person of his word, that you should never put yourself in a situation where you have to apologize for not being able to fulfill a promise. <laughs> I was like, what? Not put myself in a situation where I'm apologizing for not being able to keep my word? I mean, I was a man of God, but for me, uh, that was a very high standard that your dad was, was setting there. And of course, he was known for being a man of his word. Uh, if he says it, then he follows through with it. But I've I, you know, endeavored to live for that since then. Of course, I've come to discover that that is what God is about. God is faithful and true to his word. That's why the Bible talks about his faithfulness. That's why the Bible talks about he in, in, in Exodus 34, uh, you've been abundant in goodness and truth. And when you see truth there, it's the fact that he's true to his word. He keeps his word. And that word is, is, is settled in heaven according to Psalm 1 verse 89 or valid for all times, like one translation puts it, that I love very much. God is a keeper of his word. He promises and he keeps his precious holy word. So I love that. You celebrate your heritage. You, you, God gave you a fantastic one. You had a wonderful father. You had a fantastic mother. I mean, th th that you should always celebrate. And God himself was the one who chose them for you and chose your siblings. And you have amazing siblings. I mean, 
I, I, my memory is still, if my memory is, my memory still serves me well enough to remember Wallace Cuisine's <laughs> during our visit to your home decades ago. <laughs> Praise God. We just love you guys very much. And I believe you have enough heritage to celebrate. In celebrating your heritage, you continue to celebrate the values handed down to you, the, your genetic configuration, and God made absolutely no mistakes in making that choice for you because none of us makes the choice of the family we are born into or raised in. Number three is strengthen your, uh, I mean, sorry, number three, yeah, strengthen your divine relationships. Oh, yes, there are the relationships on different levels in this life. But the way God connected my wife and I with your husband and then subsequently with you separately, and then later we came together, makes us recognize that's a divine relationship. The kind of relationship God gave you with our spiritual father, that's a divine relationship. Over the years, we've identified some of your friends, identified some of your spiritual sons and daughters that are divine relationships. It is very difficult to make new friends after 15 very very difficult by the time you are even 40 most people become your friends because of one reason or the other uh, but the divine relationships that god has put into your life before then are people who loved you for you they loved you for who you were and they loved you still for who you are in the highs and the lows they are there when if you have if you don't have they are there it, it is not because of your ped pedigree it is not because of your uh, your affluence, it's not because of your uh, net, net worth or net net or, 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 or net, not your network, not your net worth, not because of anything, not because of your fame or because of anything. The reason why we continue to cherish the relationship we have is that God connected us together way back when we we're absolutely nothing, especially uh, your husband and I. Um, you know, when God particularly connected himself and, and my wife. Um, she, he used to enjoy visiting her because if you visited my fiance at that time, uh, Gary and, um, and Granot were two constants in her house. And they were very helpful in those days, just to talk about, you know, the kind of people we were in those days, how poor we all were. Uh, and we just, you know, loved each other for who we were. And you know, we've been there and standing by one another through the thick and the thin. So we need to strengthen our divine relationships with family members, mentors, friends, and proteges, always remembering that two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Uh, number uh, four, um, uh, leverage on your strengths and successes. Hmm. By the time a person is 50, you have track record. You can look back at your adulthood, 30 years of being an adult, you have made some successes. There's often a chasm between our perception of ourselves, our strengths, our calling and so on, uh, and the reality. Uh, but by the time you are 50, however, you will be able to tell, this is what I'm good at. This is what I'm not good at. This is what I'm anointed for. That is what I'm not anointed for. Um, you, you, you wake up to reality, drop one or two things we, that you did not perceive rightly in your youth and decide to focus on the things that are working. Oh yeah, there's no point beating about the bush and trying to focus on areas of weaknesses. No, we manage weaknesses, we leverage on strengths. For maximum productivity, we leverage on our strengths. The reason why in 1 Samuel 17, David refused the armor of Saul. The armor of Saul was not gonna work for him. He had to use a slingshot and the pebbles that had always worked for him in the wilderness. They may not look so big, but that is what God has always used. And that is what God will keep using. The truth is growth and development happens faster in the areas of our strength. And finally, I want to encourage you, challenge yourself. There is no resting on your oars. There is still so much more God can do through you. He is the God of the 30, the 60, and the 100 fold. He is the God of a thousand times more. He is the God of fruit, more fruit, and much fruit. The truth is there is still so much more God can do through you. The beauty of leveraging on your strength from 50 is that you now begin to get greater results for little effort. But the, by the law of compounding interest, the beauty of the days of this stage of our lives is that we are entering into a phase of rewards. 
we, we put in little effort and then we see greater results. I remember coming into where I am right now. I'm in a location in Canada and I came here without knowing anybody, uh, you know, to plant a church last year. And when I came, uh, you know, without knowing anybody, I just began to pray, Lord, show me what to do. I began to go to a particular mall looking for evangelistic opportunities there and everybody seemed not to care about me, you know, until one day I just stumbled on a young man. <laughs> and he was like, Reverend, what are you doing here? I said, what are you doing here too? <laughs> anyway, the rest is history. By seeing this young man, uh, four families within 24 hours had committed to being a part of the church that I was going to start, just leveraging on the, the, the seeds that have been sown over the years. This is that time. And so the results will come faster as you leverage on successes and leverage on your strengths. However, challenge yourself uh, because there's still so much more to do and you don't have forever to do it. By 50, you sure know that the energy you had at 30 is not the one you have at 50. And so you want to make sure that you make the best use of time. You narrow down, you focus on the few things that really matter. And you make sure that you challenge yourself to make the best use of the time that is left. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom was the prayer of the psalmist in Psalm 90 verse 12. So I do pray for you that the Lord our God will bless you beyond all measure. May he enlarge your coast, enlarge your territory, multiply your impact and your influence, cause you to see greater, better days ahead of you. May you be ushered into a season of rewards and may you see the great of your children, of your children's children, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for sparing me this few minutes. Uh, God bless you real good. Thank you so much, Rev. Thank, Thank you, you. Rev. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so, you so much. much. <laughs> we appreciate you, sir. We deeply do. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you Rev. <laughs> God bless you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you. What to you, to you. Yes. <laughs> And love to mama. Yes, we'll see her soon. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Rev. And love to mama, absolutely. Thank you so much for that word. I'm sure if you see in the comment section, you will see all Remites writing down your notes. We are very hungry for the word usually. So the notes are all there for anyone who wants it. Please, please, please feel free to check the resource, which is the chat. Oh, great word, my Rev. See, is that Pastor Yemi Adioti? Great word, my love. Blessings. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and read some more um, uh, comments here. Thank you so much for that word, sir. I wrote like five major points, and I'm sure we'll all go back to it and learn from it. So thank you so much for the word and for the... Um, you know, and for the words you said about Pastor Dyer in particular, you said something about how you said that she has a humble spirit. And I think this is something that a lot of people can attest to. I think it's quite interesting and important to know that um, Pastor Dyer, based on her temperament she's a born leader she's dynamic she's active she comes across as the introvert but the truth of the matter is she's quite strong-willed and quite decisive and quite independent and be very sufficient she exudes absolute confidence and so for a woman like her to come across as humble honestly it means strength strength and strength under control and i really you know i said it in church today so i know we said a lot of how you come across as quiet but we know you ain't quiet we just know that it is about you being able to recognize your position and put strength under control for destiny purposes. And I really want to celebrate you for that. So don't worry. We know you. We know you. And we celebrate you for being exactly who you are. It cannot be easy, married to Baba. Somebody wrote here, I remember you in choir. You made choir very sweet. Mama used to punish me in choir. So I don't know what this person is saying here. I used to kneel down and raise up my hands. I was a uni student. Have you ever heard anything like that? So who's this saying that Mama made choir? I don't know. I don't understand this testimony at all because my own version was different. But anyway, somebody else might completely contradict that. But Mama is fiery, feisty, 
fine, nice, and naughty she's ah, she's all those things in one. She's a powerful woman of God. Hey, hey, I love you, mama. I love you. Anyway, somebody said two things I can't stop loving about Pastor Dye is her smiles. Absolutely. I said to her in church today, Mama, if there's one thing you don't need to grow out of, some people say there are some things you don't need to grow out of when you're 50. And one of that is smiling. Honestly, laughter could be her middle name. She laughs a lot, she smiles a lot. Honestly, that is amazing. So I agree with you over there. Bishop Yomi is the most blessed and lucky. He is. He is more excited about this birthday than she is. You guys should have seen him earlier today. All right. Okay. Somebody says here, happy birthday, beautiful. Thank God for the day I met you at Rema Choir. Yeah, this was the person. In 1992, choir practice was fun with you. I'm glad you remain true to your calling. You're a sister and a friend. Uh, Bishop is so favored to have called you his wife. I remember all those suitors. You gave long nails. Lord have mercy. This is the kind of testimony I like. The choir master, men of God. Your trips to my room in Queens Hall for Bishop's pickup date. Man of God. And Papa said we shouldn't have this kind of dates. Baba. And you were intimidating me. You said Yinka wasn't visit me. Okay, okay. Let me read the story. Let me stop you right. Let me stop right there. Sis, you are truly strong, reliable, dependable. You put a smile on everything. You remind me of our of your darling mom. God rest her soul. Keep being beautiful. Your best years are ahead of you. Fifth level shall honor you and favor you. Love you loads, Kemi Odunto. Thank you so much, Ma, for this absolutely amazing trivia. I love trivia like that, absolutely. So I'm going to be picking one more before we go on to the next one. Okay, okay, I don't, oh God, somebody said Tony, oh dear. <laughs> All right. Okay. So if I can find any more, I will. Uh, Celebrant, somebody wants to see your shoes. Can you stand up for a second, please? Can you stand? Mama is stunning. Hey, she's covilicious. I've seen all kinds of names. Thank you. Reverend said, Reverend, and you know all those holy um, accolades, Lady D. She's covilicious, delicious, mamalicious, and fabulous. Mama, please rise up. We don't need to see your shoes, just the whole packaging. Amen. Hallelujah. Just, you want to just stand up so we can appreciate what God has done at 50. Hey, hey, people of God, jam those hands together, online people. Amen, amen, amen. You look beautiful. Baba, well done, sir. Well done. We celebrate you, man. God bless you. Can she sit down now, Uncle Wale? It was your brother that said I should do this. Can she sit down now? Oh, uh, yes, 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 you know you are the abrua, I mean, I'm just following the rules here, all right, please have a seat, all right, good, good, thank you, oh, you guys are such an amazing audience, you're cooperating, I need more stories on here, people, and I don't want the holy ones, I want this kind of ones that tell me about Baba going to Queen's Hall, I never knew Baba went to Queen's Hall, this is a good story, all right, people of God, let's go, so, um, we're going to go on to the next part, which is a picture streaming. The shoe, the shoes, people. Oh my God, it's so pretty. If you want her shoe size and you like to sew into this anointing as well, we'll put it on the chat for you, you know, but this is beautiful, Baba. Oh, this is so stunning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jam your hands together, people. Don't hate. We need to love on this. Hallelujah. The shoes are made by my sister, Mona Matthews. Oh my God! Thank you for the shout out, Aunt Lisa. Are you here? Apparently, she cannot remember Aunt Dio being a toddler at all. She was way in uni by the time Aunt Aunt Dio was born. Like I don't understand. You're like her daughter. This is serious. Aunt Lisa, are you there? Can we spotlight? She's like me. She doesn't come on the video if she's not talking. She's probably here and still would. <laughs> my politics with my sister too. I don't. I don't understand it anymore. <laughs> I'm here now. I'm here. Auntie Liz, can they put you? Ah, good. Thank you so much. Thank you for those amazing shoes. She wore them gracefully in church today. Well, and everything. Lisa. God bless you. <laughs> Auntie Mona Lisa, yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you and God bless you. Happy and we would like details if you would like to purchase any things like that as well. It would be interesting to have your details on there. So, you know, one. <laughs> want to get theirs okay so we're gonna have the picture streaming is media ready is the media team ready for this um let me know if you're ready and i'm gonna go through tribute it is pastor yemi adilti i was right pastor yemi's on there he wrote something about you on there i've been reading it i wasn't sure it was him all right so tribute when you're ready let me know
So with Mama, I've learned to embrace my uniqueness in Christ, serve God without any apologies, just be myself, don't try to be like any other person, and just love God with all my heart. I'm unique in Him, and He loves me just as I am. Every year's more than rubies, empty out, has been a time of refreshing and refueling for me. As a wife, mother, and sister, the time spent with other sisters constantly reminds me of God's faithfulness, goodness, and mercy, and I come back with my hope renewed every day. This could only happen because of you. Thanks, Mama, for listening and obeying him. You're worth more than rubies. Happy 50th birthday, Mama. Moms. Happy 50th birthday to my beautiful Mama Licious Mama, my gorgeous pastor's wife, my pastor's love. I wish you many, many, many more years of celebration in Jesus' name. You're beautiful both inside and out. Thanks for being there for CCLC women. I love you unconditionally. Love you, Mama. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Happy birthday, darling sis. We love you. We appreciate you. We pray that your head will never lack oil and that God's grace will always be evident in your life. Jesus name. Mama has been such an amazing mother to me. She has blessed me with so much sound counsel and advice that I don't take for granted. Thank you so much, Mama, and wishing you a happy birthday. Thank you so much. God bless. Happy birthday, Mama. You are beautiful inside and outside. Love you. Happy birthday to you, Mama. Many happy returns. Um, it's a privilege to know you. You are a great woman wonderful woman a child of god the woman of what the woman who love god the woman who so care and lovely the more the woman who has a good heart we say happy birthday to you many more years to come mama you're a wonderful woman indeed we love you Priscilla say thank you for your song, for your beautiful voice. We really say happy. Happy 50th birthday to you, Pastor Dio Olon Rishai. Wow, 50 already. I still remember when we were all kids, albeit you were my little sister. You know, we used to run around and play in those days. But it's great to see and know that you have turned 50 the big 5-0. Uh, we're here to wish you uh, many, many great years, uh, you know, ahead of you. We thank God for the, the your jubilee year, and we're praying greater and better things in store. And from Pastor Beams. Hey, hi, and big, big congrats on your jubilee celebration. Uh, I wish we could be with you, but this is what COVID has meant for so many of us. But just to let you know that we're with you in spirit, rejoicing, celebrating, and thanking God for your life, for his preservation, and for his keeping. And just praying that the best years of your life are still ahead of you, and that as you step into this season of Jubilee, you will indeed experience recovery and speed, even in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. And we look forward to seeing you uh, after the lockdown where we'll have the real party. All right, then. God okay. bless. Bye. Happy birthday. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Again. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so if that is not mama that's unmuted, then somebody is illegally unmuted. Ah, thank you, people of God. Thank you, thank you. So, Mama, the new choir wants you to know that because you've become a grandma, grandmas are usually softer. So, thank you for showing your softer side. <laughs> what we suffered, the coming generation cannot afford to, because you're a grandma now. Grandmas are softer. 
All right, okay. <laughs> I know, lucky then. Tony, oh, thank you, sis. I don't know who this is, but God bless you. She agrees with me. Thank you, ma. She said, Pastor Dye is a disciplinarian during rehearsals at Rema Ago. No nonsense. Absolutely. Beautiful, unforgettable. I'm telling you, they were beautiful, unforgettable. And honestly, it actually trained us to who we are today. Another says, happy birthday, beautiful, gorgeous. Dayo Olon Shaye, you're truly, you're truly your mom's daughter. Absolutely. Someone actually said she looks exactly like mom. So thank you for all those memories. Oh my God. Welcome to the Council of Elders, Pastor Daya. Oh my God. I'm getting concerned about this fifth floor, to be honest. Right. So, okay. So now we're going to have um, a prayer for the celebrant. Okay. So somebody's unmuted again. I'm not sure how this is happening because everyone's actually been following suit. Uh, we did threaten that we were going to send people who unmute over to YouTube. So let's try to stay on the Zoom party happily and cordially, people of God. Amen. Thank you. Okay, so I am reading um, tributes on here. So please put your sweet, nice, naughty stories on here. Okay, and so we can have them read out. God bless you. And um, I'm going to call on Baba to let us know how we're going to have the prayer for the celebrants before we have live tributes. Um, but I can't seem to see him. Um, okay, yes. Reverend, Reverend Kemi Ajayi, yeah. Okay, all right. Reverend Kemi Ajayi, do you want to wave, Ma? Because I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I can see you at the moment. Reverend Kemi, Ma. Are you here, Reverend Kemi Ajayi? You can unmute yourself if you are. Oh. Reverend Kemi? Hi. Can you see Hi. me? Hi, Ma. Can somebody spotlight her and take me off, please? Ah, thank you, Mommy. Oh, it's Mommy. Yes. Yes, I know you. I'm like a part of the family. Thank you, Ma. She's always gorgeous. You'd never believe how old she is. Thank you, Mommy. All right, I'm going to shut up now. Okay, you're going to be praying for the family, Mommy. Grandma. For the family. Oh, for the celebrant. 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 Okay, thank God. Hello, gorgeous. Looking absolutely ravishing. Happy golden birthday, Jubilee. God bless you, you're good. Let's pray, let's pray. Father, in Jesus Christ's name, we want to bless you and rejoice, Lord, on this opportunity that you've given us to celebrate Dio's 50th birthday. What an amazing God you are. Thank you, Lord, for all the wonderful things that you've done in her life, how you have enriched us all, the family and friends and church family, Lord God, with the, with the joys that she's given us. You're a good God, you're a loving Father. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Lord God, for the things that you have in store yet for her. And even on this golden jubilee, Lord God, we want to pronounce your, your word over her life, Lord God, <clears throat> that as it is jubilee, Lord, we pray that 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 you would enter into the fullness of what Jubilee means. Even as you spoke in the, in the book of Leviticus 25, 26, 27, Lord God, we want to pray that everything that is Jubilee would come to Dio in the name of Jesus. We speak, Lord God, that everything that is hers, that which you have written concerning her, the glory that you intended for her would begin to come in right now in this year of Jubilee in the name of Jesus. Lord God, that you will restore to her everything that has been that will be taken by the, by, by the enemy or by ignorance or by carelessness, everything that you intended and, and meant for her, we pray that they will find her, their way to her in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for restitution, everything that is due to her, every blessing, every grace, every favor, every anointing, every goodness, every, every prosperity, Lord God, that is due to her. Let them all come back to her, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We speak restoration over her life. We speak ease. There will be no struggle. Lord God, we say, even as she enters into this jubilee, 
Lord God, that she would experience the ease of God. You say, Lord God, that your yoke is easy and your burden is light. I pray, Lord God, that she would experience the ease of God in every area of her life, maritally, socially, uh, uh, intellectually, in every way, oh God, spiritually, let her know your peace, that personal understanding. I pray, Lord God, that and every burden will be light. Lord God, everything you've called her to, to do, she would experience the power of the Holy Spirit carrying her, making it a joy for her to serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. Father God, we speak an entry into the next level of that which you have purposed for her, Lord God. We pray that there be, there be a lifting up, Lord God, and everything needful for her to function in that new level will be her portion in the name of Jesus. Even as you're calling her to come up higher, Lord God, we call, we, we call forward even to her, Lord God, every resource, every connection, every manpower, every, everything that is necessary to make her begin to, 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 to flourish and show your goodness, oh God, and, and, to, and to manifest that which you're doing in her life at that next level in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, as you've made her a help for her husband. I pray, Lord God, that the two of them would continue in, 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 the, in the court of the which you called them. Lord God, that the two of them would inherit together the grace of life, that they would continue to raise up their children in the fear of the Lord, and that they would be the children would be around their table. Lord God, instruments of joy and blessing to them in the name of Jesus. Father God, we bless Dio tonight. We ask, oh God, that your favor may rest upon her, that you grant her wisdom in every area and relation to know what to do, Lord God, that she'll be filled with the knowledge of your will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, such that, Lord God, everything she does will prosper for her and your name will be glorified through her life. Thank you, oh God, for all that you are yet to do. Oh Lord, we're in expectation, ministry-wise, of the, of the new doors of opportunity you're, you're opening before her, new songs to to write new media to, for her to enter into and many more people that would benefit by what you're giving her. Lord, you are, you are a good God. We receive with, with thanksgiving that which you have in store for her and more than, than what we have even said. Thank you, oh God. We, we say there shall be a fulfillment of that which you have spoken tonight for we speak it by the spirit of the living God and it shall be so and we give you the praise and we give you the glory. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Love you, Lord. <laughs> Bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. I was said not to say grandma, but mommy. I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> She's always looking so gorgeous yes, and so dog. young. You're my hero. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Thank you for that powerful prayer, mama. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. God bless you. That was so powerful. All right. So we have the cake arriving on the scene, though that's not the next thing, but my mouth is watering. Are we going to move on to the cake yet? or Because it's right here in my face. So we just move on to the next thing to do. Ah, Thank you, Baba, for moving it out of yeah the spotlight. <laughs> All right, so I have live tributes, but I'm going to check in the chat to see that we have these people here. Is that right? So I don't want to call names if I cannot see them uh, on my participants list. So first thing I have, first of all, I have Reverend Jumoke Adiemi. I don't know if Reverend Jumoke has joined us already. Um, I'm just going to check. Reverend Jumoke, if you can see me, Ma, please feel free to unmute or give me a wave. I'm just going to try and look. Mm. I don't know if I can see Pastor Jamaka here. I don't think I can see her. So I'll try to move down my list. And please, you can feel free to correct me. If she, if you just arrive on there, I can just be sent a private message. 
Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next. Can we have, I don't know if this is a Mr. or a Miss, but I would just call the name I have been given. Oludi Ajayi from Texas, USA. Oludi Ajayi from Texas, USA. Are you on here, sir? Or not? I'm not sure who that is. Oludi. If you are, please feel free to unmute. Let me know if you are. Hi, I'm here. Ah. I will. Ch I can change my name if you if you need me to. Be inspired. You're the one who bullied me about your mommy. Uh, it's not bullying, honey. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> you're you're better with a friend that corrects than a, than, a, than an Thank enemy. You. That I do feel like part of the family, so it's cool. It's cool. Yes, dear. Oh Lord, help me, Jesus. Hold on. Let's let's turn the volume off on this. So I'm so pleased to be here. Thank you so much for the opportunity, um, Dario and Bishop. Um, I'm so grateful. Um, past, past stress, I call her past stress now. It is truly a blessing to be here, to honor you. You're one of the best people on the planet. Please don't be jealous, people. D Dario, as we all know, always has a smile on her face. She's always ready to diffuse situations and tendencies. When tensions are rising, she's right there. And it is truly an honor to be your egg -born. We, of course, lived in each other's ho homes and houses during school holidays when we lived in Nigeria. And she's, of course, the amazing woman of Elohim that you all know. But there's much, not much more to say than to say that God has planned an amazing next 50 years of your life. Now, since our MC has said we should give some tidbits, I feel like we need to give some tidbits. I won't go too far, I promise, I promise. So one of her infamous things that she used to do as a kid was when we were playing games, um, we were playing cards. This is what we like to do. We used to play a lot of card games. And um, some of you may have heard these stories. Some of you may not have heard these stories. It was always very loud. And her big sister, um, our big sister, Egmont Bim, was just like, oh, they have come again. They have caught come and game. And her favorite game is caught and catch. And I pray that you've taught your children this game. Um, so very often, the game would just disintegrate and things would happen. And I have to separate her and Uncle Wale separate them more than one time. And, you know, and because she was a baby, I had to defend her, even if she wasn't exactly following the rules and she was winning through other means. So, and we, we used to play another game called One, Two, Three, Me, which was scary for all the adults in the house. She would have difficulty hiding, getting back. But truly, she's such a joy. She's a wonderful person. And I also want to thank Bishop, too, for making this happen, because I can see it's a huge coordination job. So now we know where to go when we want to make these things happen. I love you, darling. You are truly the best. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Thank you so much, Sister Oludi. Oh my God, I love your vibes all the way from Texas. You're not feeling the cold, obviously. I'm sure the sun is shining and the heating is working where you are, but I'm praying for the whole of Texas. God bless. I had no heating for five days. No, excuse me, I had no heating for five days and my house flooded. But oh, the joy so. of the Lord is my strength. I learned that from Ms. Dio, so it don't matter. Come love on, I'm Texas. loving the strength. I love that. God bless you. I love her energy. <laughs> I'm like, I hope you're fine in Texas. No, I'm not fine. I've not had eating for five days. Oh, God have mercy. Okay, we're sending you so much love. So, so much love. All right, Mama, you were winning through other means. <laughs> I caught that. I did. Okay, so we're going to get <laughs> more live tributes. These are the kind of tributes I like. All that holiness, scriptural, you know, I love those kind of winning. I really wish we had more time to just dig deeper and exegesis of that winning through other means. But I'm sure Uncle Wale will do justice. Uncle Wale, are you still there? Let's welcome Mr. Wale for the second part of that particular tribute. <laughs> Am I supposed to sing? Uh, don't uh, whatever you do, please don't sing. I don't know if that's your ministry, really, ah. because I heard you in church today. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, thank you, my darling, only Aburo, biological Aburo, darling sister. Happy, happy birthday! Wishing you all the very best. And like everybody has said, this is just the beginning. We love you, miss you. We shall plan to be there at the 
next physical party. Um, this is my first um, trip, but I will say another one after this. But this is just to congratulate you and wish you all the love that you've given to us, or even wish you half of it, if it's possible. God bless you. Madam MC, you can go on. This is my half for you know it's a short one, so I'll do this. Like, oh, I know. I think I, I think I cut into the anointing the moment I said you shouldn't sing. But I felt like we helped out with the song. Well, we have the song me. now. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not good. <laughs> and I waited 50 years to sing this song. <laughs> but you let him sing this song as we had the last of it. <laughs> Mm. No, the no, next no, after, no. after, okay. after, after, after. I'll, I'll be sure to call you. Thank you. <laughs> rehearsal, but... Thank you. <laughs> so he's muted. I am muted. Did you hear me? I was muted. Can we welcome Auntie Mona Lisa on here for her tribute, please? Is she still here? Yay! Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm unmuted now, right? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. We can, yes. Okay. Um, so I think Oludi was very nice. Um, she was very kind. Um, so let me start from a few days back. So Bishop called me and said, I should look for pictures of my darling sister when she was small. And um, fortunately the albums from my mother's house were in my house. So I sat down and I looked for pictures and I saw some pictures. Why do you really see pictures of Daya when she was small? So I like all the lovely things you people have said about her and they are all true. But you know, I'm your sister and I love you. So let me tell you a few things that you don't know about this, your mama. Mama used to suck her hand when she was small. She suck her thumb. And then she used to put one hand in her mouth and then she used to put the other one on her head and say, Ori mi peye, Ori mi peye. And then um, my mom, those of you that know my mom, you know that she was very English speaking and everything. So she was very particular about us learning to speak properly, you know. But my sister, I don't know what happened though. Maybe because she, she was born in Ibadan. Actually, all of us were born in Ibadan, but anyway. But I think she drank too much Ibadan water. So she was getting her Yoruba and English mixed up, sure. And then there was one day, who are you talking to that, Yudaya? <laughs> there was one day, uh, she was like, okay, so my mom had said nobody should speak Yoruba in the house, that we all had to speak English so that, so that the upcoming ones will learn English properly. And I think it was Auntie Kemi, right? Anyway, somebody was trying to sleep and then my sister comes along and she says um, that the person should cover, she should use her Asha Bora. Now, remember, she wasn't supposed to speak Yoruba. So this was her attempt at speaking English. And it was like, um, use your Asha Bora. If you don't use your Asha Bora, Otutu will move you. Do you want Otutu to move you? And so on and so forth. As for the pictures, hmm. When my sister was small, she had this my sister, she's a real, real miracle, real miracle, because she fell down the steps and she didn't break her leg. But one day when she was small and she was outside, I think a lizard or something scared her. She ran and she broke her leg. Anyway, she ended up with a K leg. And then one day my grandma came to visit and decided that there was something wrong with my sister's hair. So she cut her hair off. So there was this little two-year-old girl with one K leg and no hair. And then all oh, this beauty that you are seeing is a recent development. So let me just tell you the truth. So she said, Okmo and Ogo, K leg, and she used to suck her hair. <laughs> but you know, my mom just loved her like that. She loved her very well. And if we did anything to her, she would tell us, she would remind us that 
omo ti mo tori e ti mi ororun fo osu mesan le fe na so she not allow us to beat her very well so we had me personally I had a lot of beef for her so i used to just leave her shy on her own let me tell you more let me tell you more you can continue with your mama and everything let me tell you more there's still more my hair was long and thick and then for some reason it was me that I used to have to make her hair so one day <laughs> my mom had got to work and i was supposed to make her hair i looked at her i said that she will cut your hair before she would said no i had cut the scissors i cut her hair my mom came back <laughs> And this her beautiful daughter was hairless all over again. <laughs> but you know, to be serious, uh, she's grown up to be such a beautiful person, not just beautiful on the external, you know, she's, she's, she's beautiful on the external. And truly, because I've known her since she was small, she's grown more beautiful on the external as she's grown older. And it's because she's actually, she actually dispenses the life of Christ. You know, um, the, what you see as a beauty that looks physical is, is actually the glory Something of wonderful. God that is upon her. And it's, um, it's the life of Christ and the, and the fragrance of Christ that, that's coming out of her, that's, you know, just showing all over her. And I'm really, really proud to be her sister. Um, I'm really proud of her. I, I watch her in situations and there are times when I would have just told the person off, you know, and, you know, but she would be nice and gentle and mischievous and naughty, but nice and gentle and kind. <laughs> I am so proud to be your sister. I'm so happy to celebrate your 50th birthday with you. And I thank God for your life. I thank God for your amazing husband. He knows that I'm his number one fan. And he said to <laughs> We have already had our, our, should I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> you have said everything. I was about to cancel your order. <laughs> all, my, all my plenty teeth, yes. And then um, I'm, I'm happy, you know, I'm really happy. You have a lovely family. I, I love your husband to bits. I love your children. I love how they're turning out and how they're pulling. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I love the work that you do, you know. Um, when when mommy was in Ibado, I would come to Ibado to visit, and then she would expect that I would follow her to Rema, and then I would enter my car and drive from Iagoku all the way to Agbowo just to sit and listen to Bishop and to, to fellowship. That was amazing. And then when you people move to Sony, I mean that was that was beautiful, you know. And that was that was. It was short, but I enjoyed having you here. And yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And I thank God for the ministry that God has blessed both of you with. Obviously, nothing is a mistake with God. And all those years yeah. of preparation, I mean, they're coming yeah. to fruition. Um, the UK definitely needs to be evangelized. So you're in the right place at the right yeah. time. And I know that God is going to yeah. do amazing things through both of you. You know, um, you're going to you're going to do exploits. It's it's very obvious. You're going to do exploits in the kingdom, and then um, since you and Bishop are now the same age, um, ah, oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm fifty plus. Just She's just fight. fifty. She's fifty. You are fifty plus. <laughs> plus. <laughs> You both are in your year of jubilee, and you're going to begin to see the manifestations of all the things that God was planting in your life. God bless you. Amen. God bless the fruit of your body. God bless the work of your hands. God continue to radiate his life through both of you and your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Love you both. Bye. -bye. I love you too. Thank you so much. <laughs> your name is the law in my house. They use your name to threaten me. I will call Auntie Beam. I will tell Auntie Beam. <laughs> I will call your sister now. I'll be like, hey, hey Auntie Beam. In fact, she has to come and move in here with us. <laughs> we love you to be. Oh, God no. bless Sorry, you. just give me some time. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Wow, oh, Auntie Mona, Auntie Mona Lisa, Auntie Beam, everybody says don't drop your mic.
please keep it coming. You are such a totally different kind of vibe. We need the picture of the two-year-old who was K-legged. God have mercy tonight. I'm telling you, it is off the hook. I don't know why Auntie Mona didn't come first or last or somewhere. I'm about to remove you from this Zoom. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You know I couldn't resist. <laughs> Be inspired dropped one of your nice Yoruba English lines. Please para for me. I can't para for myself. There's something off the hook here. I really, it is killing me. Don't para for me. I can't para for myself. Thank you so much, sister. Be inspired. You are amazing. You're just on point. Like the way you guys are just, you are killing it tonight. Oh my God, mama, I feel so sorry for you. Why did you invite them to this party? I guess it's because you can take it. I'm loving the energy from this family. I could keep watching them all day. To think you sucked your thumb makes me feel good about what I got up to. <laughs> but the thumbs are still good, they're still here. Indeed, indeed. Are you not, Auntie Mona Lisa made it clear that <laughs> Somebody in that house is probably saying you nearly killed them for sucking their thumb, right? <laughs> oh, mama, I'm loving these vibes. These are the kind of, I love these um, testimonies, you know? I really do. Thank God for Jesus, basically, because he changed the English, he changed the thumb, he changed everything. Jesus is Lord. We love you, mama. We just love you. All right, let me call on the next person. Oh, I am loving this. Uncle Shegun Ajayi, are you there? Uncle Shegun Ajayi, are you there? Please give me a wave. Is that Uncle Shegun who spotlighted? Thank you, sir. I'm going to shut up now. I think he's trying to unmute. Can admin try to unmute him? Maybe he's his frozen. Oh, brilliant. You're unmuted, sir. We thank God for Dio because she is the daughter, not Mrs. Ekwerokun only, but Mrs. Ajayi, my brother's wife. For many years, everybody was saying. This is Kemi Ajayi's daughter. God did a lot of work to create Dio. Exactly, maybe cloning my brother's wife. Dio, happy birthday. I'm glad for you. Because number one, your grandfather spent most of his life in the vicarage. Your mother or your mothers also spent a lot of time in the vicarage. Your mother was a reverend or your mothers are reverends. Keep going in the way of the Lord and his blessings will multiply on you and the bishop. Amen. Let me also tell you about your father. The first time I met your father was in Ibadan. It was at UI. I had just come back from uh, overseas and I was in the company of my brother. And here he was very cerebral. He was good, he was straight, he was intellectual. And I'm glad oh, that. Oh. All of you have followed these footsteps. You are blessed to have two mothers. You are blessed that one of them is here in body and soul 
to witness your 58th birthday. Bishop, you are a very lucky man. God bless both of you mm -hmm. and bless your family. Mm -hmm. May you continue in love for many years to come. Mm -hmm. And your ministry will grow from strength to strength. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. Dayo, Dayo, happy birthday, my dear. Yeah, Thank you. May you Mama. celebrate. Yeah, may you celebrate many more of it. Amen. Amen. In good health. Amen. And uh, in prosperity. Amen. May Amen. God continue to bless your ministry Amen. and uh, that of your husband. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Lord Pupu. Thank you, Auntie. God bless you both. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> Thank you, mommy. Thank, Thank you, you so man. much. <laughs> what do you tell you? Thank you so much, Grandpa. I've been told I have a sister, Mar sister Ronke here, who keeps telling me everybody's name to be called. And that was Grandpa, apparently. So, Grandpa, thank you so much, sir. Honestly, for that prayer and tribute and grandma, God bless you. And thank you so much. Ah, okay. So I'm going to go through my checklist again and check also that we still have these people on here. Um, ah, yes. Mrs. Ronke Mac McKelly. Okay. Yes. You've been giving me all the names now. I'm going to have to hear from Mrs. Ronke McKelly. So please, can we, I might have pronounced that completely wrong, but anyway, please, can we have you now? Where is she? Spotlight, please. I put my foot in it. Yes, you did. Where are you? <laughs> Somebody spotlight her, please. Oh, it's good to see your face. And thanks for all the names you've been given. Supply. <laughs> yeah, Dario, where do we start? Is this from the thumb sucking days? <laughs> <laughs> my first uh, recollection of Dario was um, this girl hobbling around in school, in primary school, I think. Was it reception or primary one? You know, and I suddenly found out that I had to be sharing my cousins with her. Boy, was I disappointed because <laughs> I wanted my cousins to myself. So prior to them coming to Lagos, we had our cousins to ourselves every time they came to Lagos, you know, but the moment the Ekwero Okuns arrived, we were fighting, you know, over our cousins, you know, but um, Daya and I then went to secondary school together. Um, I, I'm not sure I realized you were going to be there, but I got there and it was really nice to see a familiar face. Um, and our love has blossomed, you know, since then. Um, what else can I say about Dio? Um, I, I remember her mom used to come and teach us uh, the word of God in Shagamu then. Um, I think fellowship had been banned, but she was allowed to come in. So for that reason, I love Auntie to bits. And Auntie was also a Sunday school teacher um, in the chapel in Unilag back then before they left Unilag. Um, so Dayo and I have been buddies for quite a few years. Um, I have some stories, but I'll be nice. I won't be like Bim. <laughs> um, and no, then I remember I used to, eh? You tried, I said you can't afford to. I can't because I'm, you know, I'm for you. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to be gentle. <laughs> Here is the day that you warned me that I should not forget or my own is coming. So I should just stay firm. <laughs> so I shall keep quiet. <laughs> but Dio's that, singing skills, I don't know whether they were honed in Shagamu um, because she was in the choir in Shagamu back then and she, you know, she used to sing. I think that's where her talent was found. Um, before she went to UI. Um, and then I remember I used to run off with her to Ijebode. I just could never be patient enough for my parents to pick me up. And because they were in Ijebode, her parents would arrive before mine and I would just jump in the car, not minding the fact that my parents don't know where I am. Oh. <laughs> so I was just hoping the car with them to Ijebode. So those were the days. We thank God for life. May the Lord continue to bless you and keep you. May he continue to cause his face to shine upon you. 
I don't know whether I ever had the opportunity of riding the horse back then in Unilag. Uncle had a horse, you know, um, in those days when we used to come and play in your house. Oh, hey, we thank God. God bless you. And God bless Bishop too. Thank you. Can you hear me? Oh. Mama, no, we can hear you now. Hear you. Okay. I said you must have. Remember that annual feat we used to have in um, Akusoko Drive? And yes. then we bring Napoleon, our horse, and um, Professor Adiajai, the Vice Chancellor's donkey, there. Okay. And everybody had an opportunity to ride it. So ah. you must have. And you can trust uh, Daddy Peroku as well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was saying to Bishop today, he's really blessed to be alive for him to have attempted to. Uh, Face uh, Mr. Ekweroku, eh, that his head did get shot off. <laughs> he blown off. It was by grace. <laughs> Plenty prayer fasting. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm mean, not you know, it. Yes. <laughs> and he had anti beam or Kufemi and Okuwale behind him. When we had the family meeting, they all were on his side. And then he was like, uh uh, when did you know him? <laughs> they all defended him. <laughs> Favor. It's called Favor. Did you, did, did you see Bishop's neck that time? How long it was? The man was. <laughs> it's called divine favor. <laughs> Real divine favor. God was really with you. <laughs> yeah, <so. laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Roken. Thank you. You've been a good girl. Don't worry. Thank you, Mr. McKinley. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. That is beautiful. I know I've heard so much about this grandpa who had a gun and I was about to shoot everybody, including Baba. I'm <laughs> thankful that Baba is still here. I am so thankful, really. God bless grandpa. Right, so I'm going to go on to the next list and I'm going to call on Reverend Mrs. Kenyatta. It is true, actually, for the longest time, I had to ask Mama so many times, is she your auntie? How are you related? They honestly look alike. And to think that you're not, you're related as in-laws, not blood really. Is that correct? Like she's it's blood. She, blood. She's blood. mommy's she's sister, isn't it? Mommy's yeah. sister, isn't it? Okay. So when grandpa yeah. was speaking, I thought he said his brother. So I got that mixed up. But I know she looks like mom, but you do look very okay. much alike. Anyway, welcome with me, Reverend Mrs. Kemi Ajay. I love her. She's so posh. She's so posh. All right. <laughs> welcome, Reverend. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, yeah, what can I say? How, how much can I say? Uh, <laughs> she's begging me. <laughs> <Really true. laughs> Bishop you know, is begging. I see there are some people I know on this Zoom that are taking notes and they're going to use it. <laughs> they're they're using using it in evidence against you. Ah, in fact, the notes are full. <laughs> oh my, on your mic. Okay, right. Well, thank God. I mean, when, when I was told that uh, we were going to be celebrating her 50th birthday, I thought, what? You this small girl. <laughs> wow, how time flies. I, I still can't believe it, but uh, I give God the glory for such a beautiful life and um, beautiful person that you've grown to be. And I know, I know you look more like me than you, you do your mom. Than, than, than even my own children look like me, even though you're the, the glamorous version. <laughs> yeah, but, but you, still, you still look very much like me. And um, it's amazing. Your mom used to complain, like, how can somebody resemble another person like this? Even in, the, in, your, in, your, in your character and where you behave and everything, how can somebody resemble somebody like this? You know? And, uh, but it's, and sorry, Auntie, let me interrupt you. She and Daddy used to gang up on me and say that to me. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I can see it too, anyway. So, <laughs> so uh, we thank God. We thank God. And 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 you and Furuke, of course, look so much alike yeah. as well. Between the two, two the the um united terrorists that that's what TUT stands for, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go there. Let's not go there because you're begging me, and so let me not uh, mention too much about that. 
But but um, I I really want to bless God for you, Dayo, um, because um, over the years I have just seen you uh, put your energy into whatever it is you're doing. What needs to be done, you know, you just went ahead and did it. You're quite a courageous person, and I I know there was even a state when you you did okay. I know that I could not, I couldn't match. I don't, I don't know where you got that bit from your shopping, your shopping energy. You, you did get that one from me. I, I, I remember that one, your mom gave that one to you because I remember us, you, you, you even took me to nooks and corners in this London that me that I'm living here, I didn't know it. You brought, you brought me to the shops and at one point you and me, your mom continued and I just had to sit and say, look, please just spare me. But, but, but what I want to emphasize, however, is the, is the energy that you put into whatever it is you're doing and really just an indefatigable worker. And, um, and I also um, note that um, you, you, uh, you, you have taken the trouble to, to educate yourself, to, to, to go into different kinds of trainings as was, as was necessary. You did a training course before you came, when you got here, you did another, uh, I mean, you had done a science degree when you went into education before you got to the UK. And then when you came to the UK, you did Montessori. I think you did another one just so that you could, um, you, you could, you could work with children. You started with your own children. And then uh, you, what, you, uh, what you learned, you, you, not, you not only put it into use professionally, but you made it available for those who needed it. Uh, you ran so many summer, uh, summer vacation programs so that yes. children can be, uh, can, 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 be, can be occupied during the vacation and their parents can have the opportunity to relax. And, and it was just you know, something that you just did. And one, one summer after the other, you were inventing new things that you were doing. And I was yeah. so encouraged to see how you, you got the ch your own children involved in it. Yeah. Not only did yeah. they benefit from these summer vacations, but eventually they grew up to be leaders in those summer vacations. Honestly, you know, I, I, I'm just so proud of you. And um, you're, you're just a family, a great family person, you know, and of course your, your strict disciplinarian attitude. I remember when it was my, I think it was my 60th birthday and a member of our church had come with a baby. And then I heard that Uduadu TV had overturned the baby's pram and the baby was crying and we didn't know what could happen to, to the baby. And then you took Uluadu TV to a corner. I don't know what you did. The next thing I knew, my nephew was crying. And, I, and Uluadu TV was probably not more than two years old at that time because he was still yeah. running around and that kind of thing. But my, my beloved niece, you managed to even discipline that small child and you know, he, he, he had to understand reason. And so you have not, you have not messed up at all as, as a mother. You, know, you really just made sure. I remember I also, I, I don't know whether it was Emerald or Gracie. Uh, I think you had moved to your present house by that time. And the, the one of them was just being, you know, in, 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 insistent in, in the kitchen and just making life difficult. You put the, that, that child was only like a toddler. You put her on a chair to do the washing up with you in the kitchen. You know, and, and even though those kinds of things, one could say this is very strict, it wasn't just strict, but you managed to channel the energy constructively so that they, they, they could also become, uh, uh, you know, useful in the house. And, and I've just seen those children blossom and become very useful, uh, young, young people, and they are, I'm just so proud of them and I'm proud of you as well. You. And well, let's talk about the ministry Thank God for how you have evolved. You're such an amazing worshiper. You, you make anybody jealous when you worship God, not only with the quality of your voice, but the, the devotion with which you just worship and people just want to join in. And, uh, and I know that the, the writing part of the, of, the, of, of, of the gifting that God has given you, you're just 
starting and entering into it, you know, you're going to be a, a celebrated brand. And as I watched uh, the service today, I just thought, uh, wow, this, my daughter is just evolving and blossoming and going to flourish and, and, you know, just watch this space, you know, God's glory is going to descend through her life and you'll be known, you know, for, for a, a true worshiper and, and, and minister uh, in worship. And, and then I've seen you, of course, really support your husband. You have not let him leave you behind. You know, you've just been carried along and, and just been there. And, and your, the, 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 the level of your support is just amazing. You want to be by him and, and help him, whatever God has given him to do, without, you know, with, without leaving any stone on turn. You, you, do, you don't care who gets the glory as long as the work of Jesus Christ gets done. And I, the, um, <clears throat> an anecdotal example I could give was on one occasion at the uh, Summer Festival of Praise that you had once. And, um, and, and Bishop was so caught up in the celebration and, and the power of God just fell on him and he was just worshiping and he fell on the floor and uh, dramatics were happening. I know some of the people here must remember that occasion. And then, you know, it was all happening. Nobody knew what to do. Then you got up and I said, so where are you going? He said, I want to help my husband. I said, the Holy Spirit is helping. What are you gonna do to help him? You know? But that's, that's a kind of heart you've got. Whatever your husband needs to be done, you want to be there. And, and there have been occasions where, you know, in, in moments that could look like a crisis, you've just risen up to the occasion and just taken charge and, and God had enabled you. And with that kind of spirit, you know, I know that you're going to go places with God and God is going to take you higher and, uh, and, and God use you powerfully. And you now... The Lord has opened the door up for you in the media and the which you have started. And I think it's just the beginning. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm just expecting that God is opening new doors. As you enter the Jubilee, I believe that all the blessings of the Jubilee are going to follow you. Everything that has been tied up, I believe that God is going to release them. They have to come back to you because this is the promise of the Jubilee. You just walk into them. Uh, there's no, no more struggle. Just, just believe that struggle has ended. Confess that over your life. Expect it, and it is going to happen. There's going to be restoration. Everything that has been stolen or deprived or hidden, wherever they may be, we call them for back to you, for you to receive them in abundance. And, and as, as you enter in, you're not entering in alone. You're taking with you your whole family and all those who love you and, and those who, who, in whom you have invested. The glory Amen. that God has put in your life is going to Amen. fall over all the others and they're going to be blessed in it. So, Amen. Dayo, I'm so proud of you. I so love you and I bless God. Happy, happy birthday. Amen. Lots of love. Thank you, Auntie. Thank You're you welcome, so Danny. much. Thank you. Thank you. you so, Bless so much. Thank Bless you. you. Oh, Bless those you. are awesome words. Thank you. Very inspirational. Amen. Amen. Very supportive. I remember um, as the days approached for my 50th, and um, I was like, oh, I'm the only one my parents did not see turn 50. And I was like, um, I'm not going to be emotional or sad because mommy and daddy have done all that they needed to do in this life for me. And um, of course, I would have loved um, them to be here, at least one of them, at least. I told them, I said, um, uh -uh, the mommy didn't even wait for me to turn 50. She said, oh, daddy, I don't think mommy knows your real age, you know, that she <laughs> think I could live. You know, I mean, <laughs> sister, 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 that's um, sister Bimola for you. Know, you, you heard her now. That she said she's not sure whether you know, but then I believe it was the Holy Spirit said that you you have mothers here on earth for you and fathers who are a great substitute, not a replacement, but that can fill that vacuum, that have position to fill that vacuum for you. And, you know, Uncle Lagos, Uncle Shagu just said it, that God gave you two mothers. And it is so true, and it is so evident today that indeed he gave me two mothers. My mom, your sister has gone to be with the Lord, but I'm thank God that my second mom is here witnessing my 50th and you have, you have unleashed blessings upon my life. You have, you have um, 
noted all the journey of my life and you have been so precise about it and i am so overjoyed and i am so grateful to god for you and that you are here Amen. thank you so much and Lots say, thank you god bless you thank you so much amen 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 and amen amen Thank you so much, mommy. Thank you. <laughs> you are so beautiful. Thank and you. you have aged gracefully and we celebrate you, Ma. Every single time I've seen you, you remain consistent. And we Thank honestly you. celebrate you. Really. Thank and you. Really. Thank, you, Thank you for being mom. All yeah. right. So uh, we're going to have some tributes by video. Please don't go away because we're coming right back to you. I've had a few people come in uh, and at least that I still have to call upon before we, we use an open mic method and just open it up for everybody. But we need to have a couple of videos, do a few things, and then we will do that. Okay. Media, are we ready? Hello, Mama. Um, Hello. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. We truly thank God for your life. Uh, welcome into your year of jubilee. Yes. Your year of turnaround, your year of restoration, your year of all the past decades. Seemingly as if nothing is happening, nothing can happen. The scripture says, when it comes to you being 50, suddenly there is a rest a reassurance a rejuvenation a newness from the throne room of grace and that is what we join you as a family the Aziashi, to just say congratulations we thank god for you babe yeah um mama since i met you and baba since i mean like 21 years over 21 years ago you have indeed been parents um, we celebrate with you, ma'am. Um, welcome into your year of Jubilee. Happy birthday. We are so grateful for yeah. your role in our lives. Um, thank you for being a true mother. Um, thank you for being there for us. Um, Baba, we, we celebrate with you, sir. Um, many more blissful years, many more beautiful years, Amen. many more fruitful years um, to you, Mama um, and Baba. So thank you very much and God Amen. bless you. Amen. Thank you. From the children as well, Yanis and Brianna and ourselves, we just want to say we love, we, love we appreciate you. you and we thank God for what he's done what he's doing and what he's yet to do in advance. Yes, Happy birthday, man. Can Happy we do birthday. this? Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. We celebrate you, man. Yes. More years to come in Jesus' name. Amen. Good health, sound mind, joy, even unto flow. And above all, Aka Jehovah will not elude your life, Amen. your husband, your children, the ministry God has committed into your hands. And from this time upward is greatness, Amen. greatness upon greatness in Jesus' mighty name. Happy birthday, Mama. Happy birthday. We love you. We love and bye-bye. You. Enjoy your surprise. Happy birthday, Sister Dio. We thank God for today. We wish you long life and prosperity. We thank God for sparing your life in the last 50 years. Wow. Sister Me, God is good. We just want to wish you a happy birthday. That God Almighty remember you for good. That your latter years will be better than your former. In the mighty name of Jesus. That you will age gracefully. Your latter, indeed, will be better than your former, mm. to the glory of his holy name. Happy birthday, sis. God bless, God bless you. you. Happy birthday, Stati Midayo. We God see bless you. Many you. From Cheers. us, your aburus. Yeah. God bless you. Amen. It is a great pleasure for me to do this uh, recording to wish Dayo happy birthday. So here goes. Hi, D. Dayo. It's amazing to think that you're 50 years old. My goodness. And um, I want to wish you a happy birthday. And I'm so very proud of you. In our family, normally the girls tend to resemble each other. Most of my nieces resemble me. But yours take the cake. 
you look like you were my own daughter and uh, indeed you, were, you probably resemble me more than my own daughters anyway and uh, you you and I are more or less twins except that you are the glamorous one and I want to thank God for who you are and all the qualities that God has placed in your life and I'm going to talk about these in, in no particular order. Um, I want to thank God for your generosity. And when you give, you don't do half measures. I remember once I needed uh, a, a headgear. I, I didn't want to wear a wig and I wanted, uh, a, 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 I, I didn't want to wear a scarf either. Uh, I wanted a, a bonnet of some sort and you, you, you provided me with two, and they were very beautiful ones, one of which I'm wearing right now. And you're very resourceful, actually, when something is not available, you find ways of uh, making, making it happen. And I remember on that occasion, you couldn't find a, a, a turban, and you had, went and, and got to the material and got it made, and such a beautiful uh, thing that you, you, you provided. God bless you real good. And you're, you're such an ingenious person. And I remember when uh, when Gracie was a little girl and wanted to help with the housework, she was only like, I don't know, maybe 15 months old. And you put her on a stool so that she could help you do washing up. Uh, and as a mother, you're a very strict disciplinarian. I remember at my 60th birthday, Timmy had overturned the pram of one of the of the guests and the baby was crying and you took him into a corner and I don't know what you did to him but all I knew was that Timmy was crying was crying later on and I, I realized that mommy had uh, dealt with him but you I really want to praise God for the way in which you have raised the children uh, in, in the fear of the Lord and actually for them also to be active workers in the house of God. You've done an excellent job. I used to tease you and call you Iyayad, which indeed you are, because any pastor's wife is Iyayad by definition. And you have followed in the footsteps of my mother. And uh, I know she was very, very happy when she found out that you were going to marry a minister. And she felt that she had had been able to pass the baton on to somebody of the uh, next generation. It was, she was really, really satisfied and, and uh, 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 relieved that, uh, that one of her progenitors were going to go in the same direction she had walked in. And I thank God because you have fulfilled that role in a remarkable way. You are the epitome of a pastor's wife, really a woman of many parts and doing many things at the same time and yet not uh, being wearied or, or hassled or anything. You just take it in your steps and you're just there for everybody. And, uh, and you've been a, a, ma a massive support for your husband. We could see it, you, you just throw yourself behind whatever he's doing. Indeed, I rem there was once uh, during one of the festival of, of songs, in the summer festival of songs, on one occasion your husband had been um, uh, and slain in the spirit and he was having just a massive time in the presence of the Lord and and it was just a beautiful time and you got up and I said what are you doing? He said I want to support my husband and, and uh, that, that was so beautiful to see you couldn't support your husband with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is supporting him but that's the kind of person you are wanting to support in every way and, and then I've seen you uh, over the years just try your hand at whatever is necessary to, uh, to, to, to make life function. And you have, you have continued to learn uh, from a, a science degree. You've gone on to, to do education, to do Montessori. And, and these are things that you have developed that have enhanced the ministry. Uh, so that in the summer, you've been able to provide summer camps for the children and even 
uh, your, your own children grew to become leaders in, in, in those summer camps. And those are just amazing. And you're such a beautiful coach and a wonderful leader. And coming to your gift of music, wow, when you worship the Lord, the, the presence of the Lord comes down and the whole place is lifted up and and, and, the, and the joy of the Lord and, and the energy that you put into so the worship makes everybody want to be a part of it. And I really want to bless God for all that you have done. I, I, and I pray, Lord, that the Lord would continue to strengthen you and, 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 and enhance your ministry. Thank God for the songs that you have written. And I believe it's only the beginning. And, if, and your, and your uh, television uh, um, ministry that is, this is taking off. Uh, with the hidden figures and we really thank God for the hand of God that's upon you and you're, you're going to be well known as, as a minister of God not just uh, in one area but both in the ministry of the world in the intercession in worship you're an all-rounder you really do us proud and I bless you in the name of Jesus I pray that the blessings of, of Jubilee will really be yours and that you would enter into a new dimension of restoration and, and, and release into that which God has called you. Be abundantly blessed and I love you so much. Happy, happy Jubilee. Lots of love. This is your auntie. Bye. Hello, this is Nikhail BC, all the way from Pennsylvania in the United States, wishing my dear, dear friend, Dio Eperokoni, Eperoko, now Alon Shai Pastor Mrs. a happy, happy birthday on this 20th, uh, 50th Golden Jubilee. I'm so proud to have known you for all these years, more than two decades of life through college. We've been friends and I thank you for being a constant friend, always great having a word of encouragement for everyone, always having a positive atmosphere and attitude around you, always being there for us, your friends. And we're just grateful to have you all in our lives. I'm really thankful that even with these many miles apart, you're always in touch, checking in on and off, and we stay in constant support of one another. I appreciate that. That has been the case all these years. So on this 50th birthday, I wish you all the blessings of the Jubilee. I thank God for your life. I thank God for Pastor Yomi and your family. And bless God for everything he's been able to achieve through you, your gifts and talents in Psalms and ministry of comfort and encouragement. I really, really bless God for bringing you as a friend and a dear sister in my life, I wish you everything wonderful in this 50th year and pray that it will be a year that will bring more increase in every area of your life. And thank God for all you are and all you do for us, your friends, now sister, and the people around you. Love you very much and wish you a happy birthday. To God, be the glory, great thing he has done. Pastor, Olive, Midayo, along the year, rejoice with you on your landmark birthday of 50 years. We thank God for you as we celebrate the grace of God on your life as a wife, a mother and a servant. I wish you happy birthday. According to Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 23, Pastor Mrs. Olive Temidayo, you are satisfied with favor and full of the blessing of the Lord. Therefore, possess the West and the Pastor. South in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello. Congratulations, Pastor me, Zion. We rejoice with you today, beloved, for attaining this milestone. Wishing you God's joy, peace, 
long and healthy Hello, can you hear me? in your new age. At your days, uh, so shall your strength be. Thanks for being a blessing to this generation and the generations to come. Thank you also for working harmoniously with your husband in extending the kingdom of God. Hello, my name is Jordi Shotale. All the way from the United States of America, Georgia, Georgia, and God bless you. Amen. At the hour meeting, I'm going to be on the current day. I'm going to be on the current day. I'm going to be on the Praise God. Thank you so much. Please, can, we've managed so far. I know it's almost three hours gone. You guys have been amazing. But please, can we still all stay muted? We will be called a, um, a one by one in order. I've received some names. And if you wanted to give your tribute, that's fine. We'll accommodate people. But we also need to finish the, follow the program so we can finish up and then call up on other people. So thank you for the tributes on the video as well. Um, I'm just going to call on a couple of people just to check that they are online um, before we go into the next thing we have to do and start to round up, but then we'll open up the mic. We'll have an open mic session for everyone, but I can still see some places highlighted as not muted. Please, can you mute yourself? God bless you and thank you. All right. So I have on my list still left just a couple of people. Can we have uh, Moji Ajeneye at... Ajen I'm so sorry, my Yoruba is completely warped. But it, Moji Ajeneye, Sister Moji Ajeneye, um, is, is um, an Uncle Dele Ajayi and Auntie Comfort. Are you still on this platform? Just show me a wave or put your hands up on the chat or on the screen, and then I can call you in that order. All right, I can see that's Uncle Dele Ajayi, right? Waving his hand. Is that you, sir? Yes. Okay, please, can I have Uncle Dele Ajayi? God bless you, sir. Thank you so much. Sir. like him. Okay, sir, no worries. Thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure to join all the happy people on this platform today on the occasion of uh, one of my favorite uh, nieces, if not the favorite, because I don't want to be offensive. I don't want other people to be jealous. Uh, Dio is special to me in many ways uh, because more or less, I'm a big brother more than an uncle. Um, I, I regarded my sister as also my mother, so I'm the first in the line. And uh, Femi comes, uh, Bimbo, and then uh, Wally and Dio after me, and uh, I'm like their big brother. So Dio being the last born, just as I am, we have a special bond. And I could relate to her, you know, making a comment about the parents not witnessing her 50th birthday. That's a lot of last bonds. We don't enjoy all the full privileges of all the children. For instance, in my own case, I was about 30 something years when my dad passed away. So I don't remember whether my mom was there when I was 50 years old either. And my father never saw any of my children. So those are things that as a, as a last born, people don't know, except you are in that position. So I could relate to Dio, but Dio not to worry. You have all the mothers uh, here with you. You have all the uncles uh, with you. And as uh, Brasher Gun said, you, know, you, have, you have two mothers, so God has not left you alone. And I just want to make this comment that um, you and your husband, Bishop Babayomi, uh, you, you have a very unique connection. It's uh, very special because, number one, you both have... Uh, Christian background, not just Christian background, but you are preacher's children. Your mother was a pastor. His father is a pastor. Your grandfather, Dio, was a reverend and a canon. And just your, your sister, I mean your auntie, also your, your mom right now, is a reverend. So you are surrounded with men and women of God. And as a matter of fact, I have this picture here, which I don't know if I'm able to show it. Uh, you are sandwiched 
you know, you are in the middle. I don't know whether you can see this. I, I'll try my best. You see, you are sandwiched between two women of God. So there is that uh, tendency for you to become yayad from the beginning, from that time. And you are all so beautiful and so elegant. So they passed all the attributes to you from, from the get-go, even be, before you knew you were going to be living this lifestyle. So it's something that has already been in your, what they call, on your turf and your territory. And uh, you are, it was like you are built up for such a time as this. And I'm very proud of you. I don't want to forget to say that because of what I've seen you achieve. You are a woman of great ideas. And I've seen what you did. And as the producer, just you know, so, so you know, I recognize your production capabilities and your ideas in producing videos and stuff. There are very, very powerful videos that you have produced that I've seen. And you know, I'm so encouraged. I'm like, hey, probably inadvertently passed on the touch. I have another producer in my family, which is good, and a director. So keep the keep it going. And uh, I'm so proud of both of you, the bishop and uh, the, the love that exists between you. You guys are so easy to love because you are loving yourself. You give so much love that to love you is a no-brainer. If somebody hates you, then they need to check with a psychiatrist so that uh, something must be wrong with their head. So I want to wish you a very happy birthday, my dear Dio. And you know you are very special to me. And uh, I'm happy to be able to make it. I nearly missed it. Sister Adupe called me from Maryland and told me, did I sit? I'm not the one that sits on WhatsApp and all that. I'm, I'm kind of old school in that regard. So, so, so I, said, I said, I didn't see the connection. So she sent me the, uh, the link. So I was able to join you guys. I was about to go out, as a matter of fact. But when I saw that, I said, no, not Dio's birthday. I'm, I got to be there. So I wish you more years, more fruitful years in the ministry. And I, I see the way you impact the lives of other people. You have been able to help a lot of people, and that speaks volumes about your character. And I want you to keep it up. And uh, I wish you the very best. And uh, I want to say hello to all my friends on this platform, my family members, my nieces. I see Fuluke, I see Oludi Alia, Mona Lisa, Wally Femi, and all the friends there, Bra, Brasha Goon, and uh, Madame. I um, take this opportunity to, to kill one boy, I mean, several boys with one stone, because I don't know when I'm going to see you guys. But God bless you all. Thank you. And I hope to be here when you celebrate your 60th birthday. So God bless. My regards to you. All right. Take care. Hey, that's Uncle Santi, the coolest. <laughs> there you go. You already know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the coolest. <laughs> Over 70, looking so cool. <laughs> Thank I'm you. I'm starting from my wife also, Leticia. She's, I told you we were going, so she's not in the position to come in right now. Oh, uh, send her my love. Thank you, Uncle. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Leticia, can you say something? Happy birthday, Lady Dio. Thank you, Auntie. Love you. Love you so much. Thank you for taking care of my uncle. God bless so you. Welcome. Lady Dio, happy birthday. Long life and prosperity. God bless Amen. you. Are told you. Thank you. You're doing a great job. Uh, maybe I'll put you on my next production. Yeah. Uh, you, you're now Please my do, uncle, uncle. Uncle Justin, Uncle Daly. Thank you. So I'm related to this family in, a, in an interesting kind of way. They just don't know it yet. But thank you, sir. Yeah, you did a good job. You're welcome. Thank you, Uncle. And you're over 70. You're amazing. I just want to read something from the chat. Someone said they are your favorite. So there's a bit of a contention here. And they don't understand how Pastor Dyer became your favorite just because she's now 50. Just saying, okay? There's a Dr. Ajayi who's quite contending with the facts. But I'm going to leave that to family. They're all my favorites. Don't worry. They're all, all right, my then. favorites. <laughs> I knew you might want to settle it in a family court of some sort. All right. Okay. <laughs> right. World War, okay. <laughs> I want. <laughs> okay, sir. So thank you so much. Sir. And I must say you have aged gracefully. Mm, at 70, you look amazing. God bless you. And thanks for that, sir. Okay. So I have on my list, I'm going to go with the list I have real quickly. I also have, is Auntie Ayo on here? 
Auntie Ayo, if you're on here, please give me a wave, unmute yourself. I'm going with the list I have, so please don't unmute yourself if I don't call you. Please, please. All right. Um, then, um, Auntie Aina, are you here? Auntie Aina, are you here? Okay. Uh, Moji Ajeneye, are you here? I just want to go through my list. We'll open up the floor to other people, but I just want to make sure I call these people. Okay. Then, Auntie Comfort, are you here? Auntie Comfort. Is Auntie Comfort here? Is that Auntie Comfort waving? Okay. Moji is here too. Yeah. Ah, okay. So I just want, all right. So let me go with um, Sister Moji Ajeneye because that's first on my list. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good evening, everybody. Um, it's so nice to witness this day. I'm very happy because um, Dayo has always been lately because most of, we went to the same secondary school and um, lately when everyone's made me that you has always been somebody that I clicked with because she has that sense of humor just like I I do as well for those who know me we just click with those sense of humors either on the phone or physically when we meet at um, the every Shagamite gathering so it's such a very um, big opportunity to witness this day and lately Dio would, um, I, it was so funny when Dio would say, oh, how come everybody's, um, this one is 50, that one is 50. I thought, she thought she was the oldest among many of us. And I said, well, sorry, I'm still your Egbo older, even though it's um, a month and um, almost two months. So that was funny anyway. But um, I, I've always called her Yad yeah, yeah, as well. Anytime I want to make fun of her, and it's very funny that lately, as I called her Lady D in the past few days, so as everybody on the, <laughs> somebody just wrote that it was bigger than us all. <laughs> so that's very, that's just funny that everybody has just been calling her Lady D, which is a name I tagged her this um, week. So that your many happy returns and you're just 35 with 15 extra years. So. God bless you, and um, thank you very much, Bishop, as well, for taking good care of my sister. God bless. Thank you, Moji. Thank you for the flowers. Too beautiful. Thank you, <laughs> darling. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for that beautiful tribute. Okay, then on my list, I have Auntie Comfort. Is Auntie Comfort still here? Auntie Comfort here? I cannot see the whole screen, so... Just gonna go through to make sure. Okay, so Auntie Comfort is not here. I'm gonna move on quickly because I might not go back to that those names. Um, Doctor Femi Eperokun, are you here? Doctor Femi Eperokun, you might just want to give me a wave. Ah, hi, Doctor Femi. All right, you can unmute yourself, and um, let's have your tribute. Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. Dio. We praise God for your life. We thank God for your 50th birthday. We wish you many, many, many years in peace, in joy, in happiness, in true agape love and unconditional love. Because that is the love you ensue. That is the love you show to all and sundry. Uh, you've been a joy to know your life has been exemplary. You've been a very unique and determined Christian and have become a woman of God. I thank God for your husband, my brother, Bishop Young. Both of you have been God's team, God's generals. You've been marching and waxing on strong from day one till now. I don't know what stories they expect me to tell. I've uh, known you for all the 50 years you have been, and you've been a gemstone. You've been that little sister of mine who, with her eyes, tell me 101 things, and I understand at the bottom of my heart, even though we might not exchange it in words. I believe it is by, like I said, uh, divine intervention because that's the way 
it has been with you from day one till now. I know in my heart of hearts, I wanted you to be in the same uh, field of work and you've done the best you could because uh, God had planned his ways and path for you. I remember mommy telling me that he had prepared you for his son. And I came to terms with that long, long ago. And for it to come in fruition right before our eyes, it's a marvel and it's a, it's a big glory and great joy to God to know that we have a God who is alive and is living in our hearts and he dwells in us, he cares for us, he knows us, he, he just wants us to need him and reach to him and he has us engraved on the palms of his very hands. And that's a summary of the 50 years that I've known you and much more. Uh, you have been my friend, my sister, my comfort as well. You had been indeed in need and given to others in need. You had been loving and caring. I need not say more. I don't want to take too much time to allow my wife to speak much more on our behalf. So God be the glory. Hip, 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 hooray, girl. Hip, You've hip, done hooray. great. You've done <laughs> great and wonderful. You are a blossom. <laughs> And it's much more the good blood. Amen. Amen. Bishop, thumbs up to you. Well done. I don't have the views of uh, other things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are the best number one big brother. That's why I put it. <laughs> Thank you. Because I know you were supposed to be at work today. I know it sent you a sentence that you cannot afford to be MIA. And you replied, you said, working on it. <laughs> and you are here. Thank you for I'm making it. I appreciate it as we are talking, but uh, I've just been there to see you, so not to worry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for always being there for me. Thank you so much. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Happy birthday, darling sis. Love you. I love you more. It's really been a joy. I thank God for knowing you for the yeah. years I have. You know, the first thing that struck me when I first met you, aside from your love, devotion, and passion for the things of God and for the house of God, was your very large heart. No. You know, you're such a loving person, very kind-hearted. And I remember when we used to come to your house in Antonia, I wasn't married to my husband then. I used to see a lot of people. And I was like, oh my, she's just like a bishop. <laughs> <laughs> bishop has always been a people's <laughs> person. And, you know, I'm just like, oh, God, so you make a very great team. God is indeed awesome. Me, your life is used you for a whole lot. You've always been a blessing to me, to my entire family. And I pray that, you know, the Lord will continue to bless you. This is the Amen. beginning of your best years in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank your you. Joy, you always be full in Jesus' name. Amen. And you always have cause to rejoice in Amen. the name of Jesus. I'd like to continually shine brighter and brighter in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Love from my Yotra. I and all of us. I love you. I love you too. Thank you. You look gorgeous, beautiful That's as always. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you. You. <laughs> you know you had a hand in it, and to both of us our moves. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> we love you, sis. God bless love you. God bless you. Thank amazing, you. amazing, amazing year. And many men. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ducky. Love Welcome, you. <laughs> Thank you for finally releasing me from the medical profession. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you, much more where you are. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah. I say what we say. We love you from the bottom of our hearts, from to the moon and back, and twice around the sun. Oh, wow, wow, that's a huge God. Thank you. Oh, thank you, AY. That's the right one. That's tweetable. Thank you. Thank you. I am so sorry. I'm literally writing it. Love you to the moon and back and twice around the sun. I'm gonna send this to my husband. Uh, it's copyright back. reserved. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> 
your family has a lot of people. Like I just found out that Uncle Daley was in Coco Close, by the way. I watched Coco Close. Yeah, no wonder he looks familiar. Okay. Then we have a doctor who's waxing lyrical. Hey, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> you guys are so much for me. That is why I'm a part of this family that you don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So that was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um. Um, rendition. Thank you so much, Dr. Ekweroko, and your beautiful wife. God bless you, sir. Okay, is this anti comfort? Anytime you need a job in my dear, my dear Tony. Yes, anytime sir. Anytime you need a job in Hollywood in Nigeria, just come over. We'll get you. <laughs> I'll, 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 um, I'll back you up. I'll be your. No, you will, sir. I know you. That's why I took up this particular job. There was a lot lined up for me today, but I knew I was going to meet celebrities on there. Hand lifters and destiny. Don't worry, I'm a doctor. Just come to me. I'll just. (laughs) Thank you, sir. Thank you, Uncle. I'm I'm shy. I'm blushing, but thank you. She's done a wonderful job. I must That's right. That's right. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. All right. So we're moving on quickly, and I have um, anti comfort on here. For yes, her. yes, I am. Okay, for her to yeah. thank you. Yeah. Oops. I want to thank God for I want to thank God for this opportunity for this day. Uh this had been long coming. I missed giving a tribute on mom's uh, you know remembrance. So this will be a combination. The result that you are seeing today is, I mean, of course, you know that it couldn't have started 10 years ago or something. It started from mom's mom's home, you know. I have become anti-comfort to everyone in the family, even Dr. Ekberoku, who just spoke. Femi, how are you? <laughs> very, very yeah. well. I can't believe this Well, is thank true. God. <laughs> even oh, you know, being oh, part oh. of the family since the <laughs> 1980s. What happened yeah. was we moved to Ijebode, you know, and... Uh, Myself and two other friends living together. And um, we just met Auntie in the Scripture Union Fellowship. And yes. since then, we have become Auntie's friends. Everybody knows what I mean. <laughs> Auntie's friends, even though I was de- I'm decades or younger than Auntie, than Auntie. Uncle would always ask, are your friends coming? Where are your sisters? Where are your sisters? <laughs> We would, we spent most of our weekends in auntie's house. Let Friday come. We had already packed our bags and off to auntie's house. But the good, the thing that I still think of this day is where were the children sleeping when we occupy their room? <laughs> you know, we didn't, we had no idea where the children were sleeping. All we knew was that three of us, three big ladies, you know, were comfortable in the children's rooms. <laughs> and the children would not flinch. The, you couldn't see any form of complaint on their faces. I mean, that still marvels me till today. You know, still marvels me till today. And I ask her, are you, my, fr- my other friend is in Australia. I said, where were the children sleeping then? We didn't know. <laughs> we had no idea. But we were always welcomed. Not just by, you know, auntie who was our friend, you know, by the children, by uncle, you know, uh, their dad. You know, but, uh, even when we were not coming, uncle would be asking, are your sisters not coming? <laughs> that was how welcomed we were. You know, and you know, the, the, the kind of love that radiated the things that, you know, passed on the things we, you know, we shared, you know, was so much that till now, there's nothing that will be happening in um, the Olorun uh, family that Dayo would not, uh, you know, call me to. Auntie, this is happening. Auntie, this is happening. And, um, you know, the large heart that had developed in Dayo, you can see where it is coming from, you know. So it's not surprising that some of you uh, church members might have found yourself sleeping in the in the Olorun Shaye's house. I don't know what happens. <laughs> I don't know. But that is the large heart, you know, that I, there was. there's nothing that would, you know, flinch them at all. And then um, 
one of the things that we always laugh at me, uh, myself and my other friends is the prayer times. Femi, that were late. Do, do you all remember the prayer times? <laughs> Our prayer times. It was when we were all tired. We were all tired, you know, even it could be 11 p.m. Auntie would say, now let us pray. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now let us pray and it wasn't five minutes prayer or ten minutes prayer we had to read the bible we had to explain it everybody had to pray so we just i bless the lord that so much has been you know uh has been put into dio's life that you know you ended well you are ending well and you will finish well in the name of jesus christ if our bishop is so blessed to have you and i'm so glad that this is where Yes, exactly. You are so blessed to have you. We bless the Lord. You will finish well. You are, uh, life begins. Uh, we used to say, you know, that life begins at 40. Remember when Auntie was celebrating her 40th year? You know, we thought that was life then. But actually, we can manage and say life begins at 50. But actually, life actually be begins at 60, you know? So you are... <laughs> Life begins at 60. <laughs> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dayo. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much, Nancy. It was such a joy to have the three of you in the house. You can't, you can't imagine it. I mean, I look forward to those weekends as well because you know, in the estate at in Nigeria, we just had two Nigerian families, and we had Scottish people, Irish people, and English people, and you know, to just have one of our kind come into the house with us, it was fun. We had so much fun. If we had to sleep on a chair, we would leave our rooms for you guys to come in just to have your company. And you're singing, you, you're a fantastic alto singer, Auntie Ayo with her soprano, Auntie Dibola with her tenor. And you know, you you made your albums, Jesus fans. I, I need to go find those albums, they were beautiful. We just love to hear you sing. And you know, whenever you come, we were like, Auntie, sing, 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 sing. Thank you for being such a blessing to us. And thank God for the relationship that has spanned the years. And you look absolutely fabulous at over 60. Because oh, if I'm 50, you. you are not 10 years old when I met you. You are a graduate. So definitely, you can't be 10 years older than me. You look amazing over 60. Thank you. Thank you so much, Auntie. God bless you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Over to you, Marie. Thank you, Auntie. God bless you. You're welcome. Absolutely right. Thank you so oh. much, Marcus. When I, when I read on my list. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Anti comfort. Okay, so somebody needs to be muted, or is it Baba that's speaking? No, not us. Okay, so so we all need to be muted, right? Okay, yes. Yeah, so when yes, yeah, so when anti comfort came on, and I was like, is this anti comfort? I was taking a double take. I was like, are you anti comfort or your sister comfort or comfort? I wasn't really sure because I needed anti comfort to come up. You look amazing, anti comfort. For whatever age you are, you look stunning. Honestly, you can age gracefully in this family. Just yeah. remember, I've joined this family. <laughs> for very many reasons i'm tapping on the anointing okay so I, i'm gonna call two more people um i'm gonna call on mr um mr george um shotwade shotade i'm so sorry apologies mr shotade george and if sister foluke is still here um uh, sorry pastor foluke oshin you're coming up next please and that's, I think that's what I have on this list. Apologies. Um, Mr. Shotari, I did try to send you a private message on there, but I don't think you checked the chat message because I was going through a list. Okay, God bless you. You're on now. Yeah, my name is George Shotari. Um, the brother-in-law to Bishop Yamanocha. We grew up together in Anagomeji, grew up, we know all the family members. I was there during the Dio's wedding and everything, you know, we, I want to thank God for their life, you know. I, uh, I was there during the, um, the burial ceremony of the dad, Professor Poroku, and it's sad that I could, the mom could even witness this bad day today. But on behalf of the Shodade George family, on behalf of the, 
Dayo, Demola, Desola, Delola, Shari George, I say happy birthday to everyone, to Pastor and Mrs. Uh, Dayo Alon Shari, you know, she shared the name with my first son, who is in college right now, doing pre-med in the United States of America. I appreciate you for all your love, and I appreciate you for taking good care of um, Bishop Alon Shari, because he said he will find a good wife finds favor in the sight of the Lord. And I can see the favor growing you know, all over you. I also welcome you to the Golden Family because it's not easy to cross that uh, stage of being 15 years old and above. Thank so you. I appreciate you. <laughs> and I appreciate you for the good care, for your love, for your, for your ministry, for your good heart, large heart, for all the good things you've been doing Thank all you. this while. So I appreciate you so much. And may all Almighty God continue to bless you. Uh, we shall celebrate your 100 years by God's grace in Jesus' name. And uh, very soon, we will pay you a visit in London very soon. And uh, come and worship in your ministry as well. So God bless you. Congratulations for all your good works. I've seen your great works, your books, your everything. I've seen the one on the way by Bishop too, both of you. You know, God bless you all. So on behalf of the DSG family, I say congratulations and happy birthday. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. God bless Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. So much. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless Thank you. you. Thank you. Love Thank to everyone. You. And my name is Yeah. <laughs> you you yeah, named your son after me. I'm coming to collect yes. the money soon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> Thank you so God much. God bless you. Yeah. 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 God bless you too. Thank you, sir. And thanks for being patient enough because I can also see your message in the tributes in the chat. So thank you, Mr. George, um, mm -hmm. for your patience. Okay, um, Sister Foluke Oshin, are you there? Pastor Foluke Oshin, I think? I'm here, thank you. Okay, so it's not the one I know, actually. Sorry, I thought it was Foluke Oshin, I know. Okay, yes, let's have your... Hi, oh, hi, okay, everybody. Sorry, your video is not on. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep quiet now. Can you see me now? Hello. Hi, yeah. Dio. Hi, darling. Hi, hey, Dio. Love you, darling. Love you. So what can I say? I'm trying to... I know. I'm, I'm trying to decide what type of tribute you want. Do you want an Oludi tribute, a Bimbala tribute, a Femi tribute, a Wale tribute, or all of it mixed up together? What do you think? Only, only ghost tribute. Uh, okay. okay. So no, when you and I were like this, so you know. You we know, are. Like the we others. are. So I have we so are many things. united. And you know, they are watching. Be conscious of the fact that they are watching. That's fine. Only yeah. the truth. I'll only speak the truth. <laughs> So where shall I start? I'll start with our day <laughs> in Ibadan. When he used to come and hang out with us, particularly you and Wale. And um, I think um, my mother just took a whole load of, I don't know what, iron brew or something to give her strength to cope with this additional family that she got. And um, can I mention the Agualumo tree? <laughs> yeah, I, I have skills. I have skills. Okay, so she has <laughs> climbing skills. So she used to climb this tree that had loads of soldier ants on it. She still insisted on climbing it and then would come out and we'd be worried about why she had so many bites on her. Um, Bimbala mentioned the broken leg, which she broke again <laughs> in, I don't know, age six or seven. So she used to oh. be hop along on her crutches and then she would want to ride the chopper with a broken leg. And I used to have to rescue her from that. Um, where else can I go with this? I remember, let's go to our teenage years, by which time I was living in the UK. And I came to visit in, in, in Nigeria and you, Wale and I were in Lagos, living in different houses, I think. And your dad used to send the car to come and pick us up every weekend to take us to Jebode which was fun for a while. <laughs> but then we decided that we wanted to have fun in Lagos, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Sure. So there was one weekend, and hopefully your dad will forgive us because I don't think he ever knew this <laughs> We had a party or something. So please forgive us. But we had a party planned. <laughs> and your dad sent a car as always. And you and Wale decided to hide when your dad arrived. So your dad went back to, went back to Jebode without us. 
because we had a party planned that weekend yeah. and it was really yeah. inconvenient. <laughs> what can I say? You you led me astray. It's the way I <laughs> it wasn't my fault. Um, but we had so much fun together. Um, hanging out yeah, and I remember good. when you first moved to the UK you came to hang out with us in Leeds yeah. with, uh, with Emerald was still a little, little tot at the time and I remember yeah. us going for walks with both Emerald and Adim Lola in prams and we had so much fun with you guys all hanging out with us yeah. it's always been a joy we talk for hours so if we hang out we don't really go to bed it's not really a good thing <laughs> Because we're just up talking and laughing and um, always, always so joyful yeah. when, we're get, when we're together, the escapades that we get up to. I have to say that I am the disciplined one. I'm the disciplined uh, twin. Uh, 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 <laughs> and it's Dio that leads me astray every time without fail. And many a time between us, we have offended our friends, not deliberately. That was usually when you were living in Nigeria and I was living here in yeah. In the UK, I was living in London, and your friends would return back to Lagos and tell you off uh, bumping into you in Oxford Street <laughs> and you walking straight by them. <laughs> and then we discovered it was because they saw me and thought it was you. Yeah. Um, and that happened so many times, vice versa. We had to convince people that we weren't twins, although we are really twins. We are. And uh, no. it's such a joy to be a twin with you. I love you so much. Um, I love you to the moon and back. And, and probably four times round the moon, <laughs> shall I say, and then round the whole galaxy, I'd say another 10 times. So Femi, oh. I think I beat you on that, but hey, <laughs> you'll get over it. Um, but, you know, it's been such a joy. And also meeting Yomi, I was there back in the day, in the early days. I was part mm -hmm. of the troupe that helped do the convincing. <laughs> Yes, Back in 1997, I'll never forget uh, it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh yes, and Runke just um, put on the touch on the last. chat, touch you last. Yes, we used to play touch you last. And I oh, think the last time I saw you, which was a year ago now, yeah. I did touch you last. Touch you last. Yeah. So um, yeah, um, so such a joy, such a joy to just watch you become the woman you are today. Yeah. Such a joy to see the family that you now have, you know, to me, Emerald, Gracie, they're all joy to all of us. Mm -hmm. And I know how close Emerald and Adim Lola are, and I pray that they just continue in the fashion that we had it's as children. Um, it's been so good to just hang out with you. And I still feel nourished from our time together last year, exactly a year ago now. God knew what he was doing, knowing that we were going to be in lockdown and enabled us to have that time together. So love you, love you, love you. We'll always love you and we'll forever be your twin. God bless you all. Thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I think it's frozen. I think her screen is frozen. It is, yeah. Yeah, because I'm thinking she probably wanted to respond to that or retaliate, whichever, whichever she's planning to do. <laughs> But I do believe she she influenced you because you sound so sweet, gentle, and soft. I am. I, I believe am. you. I personally believe you. Thank you. <laughs> but thank you so much for that. That was a beautiful, beautiful memoir. Just taking us down her memory lane with her. And I feel like we were there with you with all those stories. So that was brilliant. Uh, I don't know if it was a good idea to hide from grandpa, but you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> But thank you so much. So before the return, thank you, thank you. I'm sure she'll have a response from you. Somebody has said you might need to come back and talk about uh, Mama, you, and Dio in London. So you might need to say that when Pastor Dio comes back. I don't want her to miss that part because I can't seem to see her on the screen, right? Okay. So while you're holding there, I'm just going to read what I can see on here as well. Um, oh, I can see people putting some um, tributes on here. Um, let me see what I can see and read out before. Mm, let me see if mama is still back. No, I can't see them on there. So I think they're still, it's still frozen, but I can see, um, tributes on here. One from, uh, yay today, dear Daya. Oh, mama is not here to even listen to this. So why am I reading it out? But thank you so much, guys. If you want to still put up your, um, uh, cause we're going to be rounding up this session where I call you out, but you can actually give, we're going to open them uh, do an open mic session where you would give your own tributes. I don't have to call anybody up. We just, uh, we have to shut down the formal part of it. And then we can open up the sessions where everybody can give, um, 
Uh, okay, brilliant. <laughs> yes, yeah. So um, where everybody can give their um, responses and all of that. If you wanted to put down your names in the chat, maybe it would help to have it in some sort of orderly fashion. I don't know, but I promise you it's going to be an open mic session after this. Everyone can give um, a tribute. We're just trying, I'm just hanging about to try and wait for Baba and Mama to be back because it is her day after all. So I don't want her to miss anything. And uh, we want to say thank you to those on YouTube. I'm looking through the um, uh, the chats on there. It's pretty brilliant, actually. People are still there and engaged. Um, um, again, I don't want to start mentioning names until Mama and Papa are here so they can actually appreciate. But I just want to give shout out to everyone. Uh, Victor, Acting Buddy, Multivision London, Jumi, Timothy, Shola Bumi, Odubi, Stella Olaleye, Redeeming Love, Rachel, N-U-K, um, Any Jewels, Deji Ajayi, Afalabi Ajayi, Elizabeth Etim, Shuko Shogilola, and Muduke Dada. Thank you so much for all your comments. I'm sure Mama would read them once she is back on here. Um, so thank you. I just didn't want to read it without her being able um, yeah, to hear it. And um, I don't know how many of the... Um, Rema family mass fire on here, but I did yeah, read out we're, some. We're oh. back in. Oh, brilliant. Baba. Okay, good. I was just wrapping on, really. So well, let's see your faces. Okay, then Sister Foluke can come back. She had one more part. Okay, so, so Mama can respond. Okay. I can't see them yet, though. I can't but, see them either. So just hold on a second. I think. I think the. I don't think it's clear because I can hear something in the background. So it's not clear. I think some people are not on mute. Can we please all on? Uh, can we please mute or admin? Can you mute everyone? Um. Please, can we mute? Please. Oh my god. Thank you. Okay, so I think they're trying to get in because I can yeah, see no, the admin here, right page here. coming up. Ah, Bishop. Okay, thank you, sir. So we can't see your faces. Okay. And we can only hear like some ruffles in the background. So I don't know if you... <laughs> okay, we're coming back on now. Brilliant. Okay. So I was just giving a shout out to those on YouTube and Sister Foluke was going to come back and end that part so Mama can retaliate because it was quite interesting. Okay. And then I've told everyone how we're going to round that up. And um, so, um, as you you guys can hear us, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're waiting okay. to see you. Um, yeah, I want to see your faces. So I, I know, I know. Accent. So I will just read out what's on YouTube as long as they can hear it before their faces come up. Happy birthday to you, Pastor Dio. That's from Victor Akingbade. Multivision London says, happy birthday, dear Pastor Dio. And congratulations, Bishop Yomi. I'm waiting for your faces, by the way. Uh, Pastor Olive, <laughs> happy birthday. And that's from Jumi Timothy. Uh, thank God for God's faithfulness upon you. And happy birthday, Dio. Continue to enjoy God's blessing. That's for Shola Bumi Udubi. Stella Olaleye, happy birthday, Mama D. Uh, may God's grace continually be sufficient. Redeeming love, happy birthday, Minister Dio. Rachel, any okay? Many happy returns in all ramifications, Mama. Any jewels, St. Saint Matthew Daniel, happy birthday, Olive. Deji Ajayi, Jubilee Blessings, Aburo, Dio. Afalabi Ajayi, congratulations. Happy golden birthday to you, Dio. Elizabeth Etim, happy 50th. Sweet mama, congratulations, ma. Thanks for all you do. Shuko, Shoge Lola, apologies again. Happy birthday, Pastor Daya. God bless you more and more. As you turn 50, may the Lord continue to bless you. And Mudupe Dada, happy birthday to my gorgeous niece. Love you loads, okay? We're still waiting for you to turn up, but I have a couple here on the chat, but I know you can hear us. So I'll just read that one. Dear Dio, whether at staff school or Shagamu, you always carried yourself with grace and dignity. You look beautiful today, but then you've always been beautiful. Never mind the story of the K-leg. You had no K-leg. You carried yourself stoically and grace and dignity. And you are so beautiful. Thank you, sister. This is from Yetunde. Thank you for saving the day, Ni Oka. Oh, I'm not going to try and pronounce that. But thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. And the last one I'm going to read out is Mama D is 50. Happy birthday to you, dear sis. Wishing you a prosperous and happy 
the returns of the day you're destined to abound. This is from Bookie um, Omar Bawali. Okay, sister, for look at your backup. I can see Hi, I'll go ahead. So, Dale, this um, last story I'm going to tell was when um, you came to London. We were teenagers. You came to London for the summer. The house had been really busy. And Mama was with us. Our grandma was with us and visited from Nigeria. And if you recall, um, my mum, your mum, had um, your second mum, my mum, had left us to look after Mama and uh, just look after the house. And Mama went and put on her guide uniform. She was, uh, she loved the girl guides and she'd gone to put on her guide uniform and she said she was off to London to the guide headquarters. And we kind of didn't really believe her. And the next thing we knew, Mama had disappeared from the house. This is, I think my mom was probably about 80 at the time, over 80, a visitor to the UK. And the two of us were like, went into a mad panic about we've lost mama. So off we went, got on the train to go and find her. Thank the Lord. Before my mom came back home, we had located her mother. So all was well with the world. But again, I have to say that um, I think you encouraged mama. It wasn't me. I was always the one being led astray. I need to emphasize that. Um, I think given that Mama had about 30, 40 grandchildren, I think we were worried that, you know, if we didn't find her, not only were we in trouble with our mum, but we were in trouble with all of our cousins. So, um, but it was, it was so many memories of the, of the different things that we just had the, the privilege of getting involved in and and Mama was, you know, we found her at the headquarters. She was there in full pride in her uniform, engaging with all of the leaders. And, you know, it was, it was amazing to see, actually. But the most important bit was that we found her and we got her back home again. And we didn't have to tell the story of how we lost Mama. The story we could tell was how we found her, which was the most important bit. So, um, um, Bimbala, thank you for reminding me of that story. I'm sure there are many more. Um, I'm thinking of when you rolled down the stairs as well and frightened your mum to death um, as well. You didn't break your leg on that occasion. But the final bit you didn't hear, Daya, was how much I love you. And I was talking about how much I love you. And I love you so much more, 10 times round this galaxy and back. Um, so um, God bless you and looking forward to the next 50 years together. Wishing you love and prosperity, joy and happiness. See you soon. Thank you. Thank oh, you. My <laughs> oh my goodness. No, I... Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Can you refresh it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, turn you over to you. Okay, okay, thank you. So, oh my God, I can listen to stories about you all day, and uh, Mama D. Apparently, you're in a habit of losing mamas. You've lost somebody in Ted Show Market as well. It's just, it's just interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna call. We're gonna need to cut the cake now, and I'm going to call on Mrs. Ajayobe. Mrs. Fumi Ajayobe, are you here, ma? Please give us a wave. Oh, look at that precious cake. I told you, where is my video? Oh, okay. Is Mrs. Fumi Ajayobe? How are you, ma? We can't see your face. I am. Sorry, let me find my camera. Please do. We want to see you. Wait a second. This was different from the cake I got earlier today. What's going on? What's happening? I can't seem to. And Pam Pam say happy birthday to Auntie. Okay. Oh, here it is. Ah, brilliant. We can see you. You always looking so young. We can see you, ma. <laughs> Good to see you again. Okay, everybody else, please mute. Please mute. Um, Mrs. Ajayobe, you're unmuted, ma, so we can't hear you. Sorry. 
But I'm Stop loving the retro style. hairstyle, by the way. You're looking good. Oh, cool. thank you. I'm going to keep quiet right now. I needed to make effort for this special occasion. I'm sorry I'm in my kitchen. I should have used the Zoom background, actually. Um, but everyone is taking over every room in the house. So this is the only place that has a bit of light. Well, better lighting. So I just want to congratulate this special woman once again. 50 looks so good on you. You're such a wonderful woman, you know. In fact, everybody has said everything. What can I add on to this? But we thank God that he has kept you all this while till today. And he will continue to keep you. And he will continue to bless you. This is just the beginning, you know. The first 50 years is rehearsal. So the next, this is the, this is the starting point, you know, to start on another phase. And this is this journey, God will be with you throughout this journey till the end. And um, he is going to you know, do amazing things that you don't even know. None of us even know at this point in time. We don't even have an idea, but trust me, God has so much plans for you that you can even imagine. So uh, now that uh, we want to cut this cake, I know, I just, I don't know, I think we just do it slightly different. Um, by the way, you can see that I am trying to be as, um, you know, be, <laughs> I had to call up match you, you know, it's, um, it's green <laughs> on this occasion. So, yeah, so what I would want us to do is um, the acronym of her name, you know, o Olive, O-L-I-V-E. They've said so much in church this morning. I was listening and everything. I'll just pick one of each. And we're going to use that to cut the cake. So, my dear beautiful sister, I can't see her on my screen. Oh, okay, yeah, I can see you there. Okay, can we have her spotlighted with you, admin? Can we have both of them on there like you've been doing earlier? God bless Admin. God bless you. Thank you so much. But can we have both of them spotlighted side by side? That is Mama and Mrs. Ajayobe like we had earlier. Um, so that gives her a good view. Can we do that? Ah, brilliant. Oh, oh, okay. We have Sister Poluke back. She's shaking her head, which means no. All right. So let's have Miss... <laughs> I'm going to keep quiet now. <laughs> Are you showing it my video or not? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So when I say give me an O, everyone says, oh, you've got an O, you've got an O. And then I'll tell you what that O is for just this occasion. So mm -hmm. give me an O. Oh, you've got an O. Okay, sorry, I've forgotten you're all on mute. All right. So give me an O. Oh, you've got an O. You've got an O. And the O is Olive Outstanding. <laughs> Olive is an outstanding woman. L, give me an L. L, you've got an L. You've got an L. And L is lovely. Olive is such a lovely, beautiful woman. I, give me an I. Ah, you've got an I, you've got an I. And I is inspirational. Olive is inspirational. <laughs> she inspires every one of us, as we all know that. V, you've got a V, you've got a V, and V is valuable you've got a, your precious valuable individual priceless and the final one is e give me an e e you've got an e e is encouraging she's so encouraging she's exceptional She's just an amazing woman. So we've got Olive here, who is a beautiful woman inside and outside. And so now we're gonna start with the O-L-I-V-E. So when I say O, you say O-L-L-I-I-V-V, -V, and we will finish with E. And when we say E, we will just say exceptional and then you cut the cake so 
Oh! Mrs. Ajayobe, do you want us to unmute? Because we don't know if we okay. are doing a call and response. Oh, yeah, that's right. Maybe I should have said unmute. Exactly it's I okay, think... never mind. Everybody yeah, unmute, that. please. Unmute. So God this bless you. Chance. This is the only Everybody. time you're allowed to unmute. Oh, Amen. Wow. Okay, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, Mrs. Ajayobe. <laughs> Let's go, man. All right. Oh, okay. Maybe let's do it this way since everybody's on. We, I hope you remember. I hope everybody was listening. So yes, when I said, oh, you give me the what I said, oh, was. I'll remind you anyway. Oh, it's outstanding. L is lovely. I, inspirational. V, valuable. E, encouraging. You know, exceptional. Let's use exceptional. So when I say, give me oh, everyone say, oh. Outstanding. 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 Give me an L. Lovely. 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 And give me an eye. Inspirational. 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 Give me a B. Valuable. 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 And give me the final. E. Exceptional. Thank you. Thank you Bless you, Bless you, Bless you, Bless you, my dear Bishop. Ah, that's nice. So, Baba, over to you. Thank you so much, everyone. I doubt I'll be able to get everyone to completely mute themselves now. So, that my job is done because everyone knows they're going to get uh, um, the open mic right now. Uh, we wish we could eat that cake, but it looks like it's going right back into where it came from because you've moved it away. But that's okay, people. Go get some chocolate in your cupboard or wine or something and cheer up, okay? Because that cake is not getting to you today. Okay, people. But that's okay. I want to say thank you to everyone. I'm not the one giving the word of thanks. We're going to let my do that but i want to say thank you to everyone i doubt we'll be able to get you to unmute again but thank you for keeping to that because we're recording and we want this to be exceptional you know how my mind is <laughs> it seems to be in place and you know excellent okay so i'm really glad you guys did that and you made a day okay so I'm going to hand over to Mama to give our vote of thanks and Baba to say a few words and then we oh, leave it as open mic and people can leave their tributes. Okay. Thank you, Tony. Over to Mama. Oh, wow, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Pam, pam. Thank you. Pam, 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 yes. Okay. Okay, Mama. Mama, one second. This yeah. will drive me, this would totally drive me crazy because we are not muted. Admin, can you mute everybody? We can hear Mama. Please just mute everybody, including me. Admin, please. We can't hear her. Someone is still talking. Thank you. We're still not okay. muted. Someone is still talking in the background. Wow. I heard that Pam Pam wanted to say something. Pam Pam wants to say happy birthday to her auntie. Yes. Pam Pam, where are you? Right here. Yes. Can you hear us? Oh, yeah, loud and clear. Say happy birthday. Oh, thank you, darling. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. I love you more, darling. You're so sweet. You know you're my bestest. Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> Uh -oh. Thank you, Pam Larry. <laughs> You're such a delight. God bless you, darling. My sweetheart. Thank you. Okay. Wow. Thank you, everybody. Oh, I didn't even know. I'm so overwhelmed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Auntie, my darling mommy. <laughs> thank you so much for everything. Thank you for those priceless words. Thank you for the prayers. I soaked everything in and I believe that in your lifetime, you will see the fruit and the um, answers to those prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you, Reverend Victor, Pastor Jumi. Thank you so much. I bless the day that my 
paths crossed with yours. Um, I didn't know what, what was going on, but as I look back on the journey of my life, I knew it was a transference of grace. God had positioned me in that church to receive grace from this beautiful couple that had come to plant a church in um, Ibadan, where I did my university. And I thank God that I got to know you and at the level at which I knew you, because definitely, if I look at your lives, God has blessed me with everything that you also have. And as I always tell Pastor Jimmy, I thank God for shielding me and not giving me twins. I, 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 I thank God that that grace did not follow me. But everything else I receive with thanksgiving and with a very large heart. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to my loving Egmos, my oldest, my siblings. I, 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 I I, I don't know. I don't have words because I don't. I God has blessed me with the best siblings ever. Even though you know I'm the youngest, they they spoil me in their own individual and unique ways. I don't want to take your time. Um, of course, sibling rivalry as we were growing up and everything, but God just used it to make um, solidify the bond that we have now we we had our wars we had our fights we had our good times we had our fun times we had our mischievous times all wrapped in one uh, my darling sister has told you some of it and of course Uncle Wade as well and Ducky he has always been a man of peace all the way all the way <laughs> <laughs> very wise man <laughs> And he's always been that that father that has taken care of all of us in in every way, you know, spiritually, medically, and all. I mean, he's he's a, he's a medical doctor par excellence. I remember one time my sister was ill and he couldn't get her to the hospital. He set a line using her sitting fan, you know, such ingenuity and. Um, even he, he he has so much peace. Even when we're we're consulting with him, I one day I was consult. He came to my house and I was so knackered, and I was I think he was more knackered than I was, I guess. And I was consulting with him in my room, and everything. The next thing, I just heard him snoring. I said, Ah, ah is that how you treat your patients and everything? He said, You're not my patient, you're my sister. <laughs> I was like, okay, definitely if you have slept off during consultation, there's nothing wrong with you there. <laughs> but you know, he's always been, had my back and everything. He ensured that after I lost that other baby, he made sure I came to take delivery of my second child, Emerald, in his own hospital. And he made sure that I had the best medical um service available in Nigeria at that time. He made sure I had the best pediatrician. He made sure I had the best obstetrician consultant that took that delivery. He made sure the best midwives, the very best that Lagos could offer at that at Victoria Land Consultancy Services. And it was the best. And you know what? He went away for his honeymoon because he knew that he had put me in the best hands. First of all, in the hands of God and in the hands of the best medical professionals. Even when we had a hiccup, you know, at a delivery and everything, he was still confident that no, this baby will survive. And yes, that baby survived and to be such a beautiful, wonderful child that she is today. Thank you so much, my darling brother. Thank you for being there with me every time, all the way. And Auntie Bim, ah, God, God had to make sure that I had one sister because you, you are one in a million. You are, I can't have, you are like 10 sisters in one. The things you do for me is amazing. Even if you are going to like frown and say, ah, that you are, you are one. She will still do it. She will do it over and be you. <laughs> I love you so much. You are my hero. I look up to you so much. I'm so proud of you. You inspire me every time. You know, even when I'm like feeling weird, I'm like, ah, no, 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 no. At the will not do this. I better sit up on my oars and you know get it done. I love you so much. I, I I have watched you grow spiritually, and it is amazing the love you have for God, the growth that you have for God, and you have not seen anything else. I, 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 I there are some prayers I'm praying for you, especially. I, one day I will reveal them to you, but you know what? I know that it will overwhelm you and God. God is going to bless you beyond your imagination and expectation in the mighty name of Jesus, even as you conform more and more to his image and his glory in Jesus' mighty name. Mm -hmm. Ah, what can I say about Uncle Wale, my darling brother, my paddy in the jungle? Thank you so much. Ooh, ah, you know, my, my mom had Uncle Femi and my sister, and Bim, hmm. you know, why I'm calling them Uncle Femi and Auntie Bim. That's what my, my children call them. So their, their, their words are low in this house now. And my husband is what calls him. He and um, 
there's now a five gap, a five year gap between Aunt Bim and Uncle Wally. So we are like um, two generations apart, two, a, a generation apart. That's what we always call ourselves. So the first generation of the Poyoko family, <laughs> Femi and Bim, and then Wally and Dayo came along. And Bim would always say, uh, we were the austerity children. <laughs> 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 And like she said in her tribute, I knew I had older siblings, but you know, I, I, I just didn't come home for holidays and there we, did, we were so far apart and we didn't have um, a, a rapport together like that. But of course, when I scaled some ages and everything, yes, I now knew them and we bonded well. But you see this Wale and I, oh Lord, we grew up together and you know, just to, to wrap it up, one, la one lady came visiting. Um, at, my, at our place, I think maybe it was Jebode or Unilag, I can't remember. And um, Wale and I were just very peaceful, going about the house, doing our own thing. And she made a comment and said, oh gosh, your children are so lovely. They're, they walk so nicely together. They're so peaceful. Your house is so peaceful. <laughs> my mother looked at her and said, this is after the war. <laughs> this is after the war, yeah. <laughs> there was so much war, but I, I think the fights and everything we had, you know, made us closer than ever. And um, uh, he, he, Wale is such a delightful, brother to have. He's always got my back. I don't know why God just blessed me with such amazing siblings. I All I have to do is cough and, you know, he would have just, he would do over and above what I would require. And, you know, he just blows my mind, his generosity, his love, and the way he finds his way into the lives of my friends, church members, everybody knows him <laughs> so much. He's such a loving, amiable, accommodating person, very humble, humble to a fault, and he, he knows how to hold his own, and he's such a loving, loving, loving brother. I appreciate you, and I thank you so, so much. Thank you for honoring me. This He actually flew from one part of Nigeria to another part to be in Lagos, where my siblings are, to attend this Zoom party. I know we had been planning this party. You know we had been planning how everybody was supposed to come to London, but you know, God always has higher plans. And this is such a beautiful occasion. We we praise God and we give him thanks for it so much. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. I appreciate you so much. I love you all. Thank you, my cousins. Ah, Oluke, Oludi, Dokjibi, Ronke, um, Apolabi, Deji. I know you all are there. Salos, um, Prof, Cousin Ade, yes. Auntie Comfort, yo. My, uh, we, we, we had fun growing up. I was just telling them in church today. I said, I, I don't have any grim stories of being underprivileged. I, I, I'm not boasting or anything like that. And that's why I'm so grateful to God because it's not a choice. It's God that puts the solitary in families. And I am grateful to God for the goodly heritage that he has given me and the kind of family I was raised in. And I know it's all part of his kingdom plan for me because of destiny and because of the work that he's committed into my hands, into our hands, and for the, and because of where he's taken us to. And regardless, regardless of background, privilege, and everything, there is nothing compared to being in the body of Christ, becoming a member of the family of Christ. And if you are there for adventure, you have not given your life to Christ, I want to use this opportunity to say to you that you have not started living life yet until you give your life to Christ and make Jesus your Lord and personal Savior. He will turn things around for you. I always tell my kids, I said, look, he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. You know, if you are in a room with people who don't know Christ and you who has Christ in you, you are the most powerful, most influential person in that room because Jesus Christ has given us authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm us. So to be in Christ is to be in authority, to be influential, to be the happening person, you know, so to be the coolest kid on the block. So if you are there, you have not given your life to Christ, please use this opportunity of my birthday, it's Jubilee. Jubilee means um, release, it means restoration, and it, is, and, and it is time when things come back to you. So use this opportunity to make, if you look at my life and you're thinking, wow, I see Diane and everything. It's not about me. I wrote on Facebook today, I said, um, because he is, I am. There's no me without you, Lord. I am forever grateful. So your life 
can start again, a new beginning for you. So just make Jesus your Lord and Savior. All you have to say, Father, forgive me my sins. I'm sorry for what I have done. I've strayed away from you. But today I want to make that connection and make you, Lord Jesus, my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me of all my sins. And if you can say that prayer and accept him into your heart and make him your Lord and personal Savior, you will become born again and you start a new life. So welcome to your best days yet in the mighty name of Jesus. I should start this journey of salvation and making Jesus your Lord and personal Savior. If you want to continue from there, check us out on um, CCLC House of Mercy TV. We are there every Sunday and, and just continue. Watch us online or any Bible-believing church. Everybody's online now, but just make that move and begin to listen to the sermons. And I believe that the Holy Spirit will help you to grow in him and we become rooted and grounded because God has a purpose for your life. Your life was not made to be ordinary. God wants you to live an extraordinary life and you can only get that in Christ Jesus because Christ in us, the hope of glory. So that is so key and so vital to me because Jesus is coming soon. I would love to see my primary school mates. I'd like to see my secondary school mates, university roommates, all of us in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. So make that your, your birthday gift to me is for you to give your soul to Jesus Christ on this day. And if you have and you've trained, rededicate yourself to him and let a new life begin. I love you all. Thank you so, so, so much. I, I hope I haven't left anybody out. I have just a few people with me here. CCLC family, what oh, God used you to make me who I am today in this phase of my life. I love you. And when I say I love you, I love I When I pray, in fact, my, my prayer has almost become stereotype now. And I say, God, sorry, if I'm just repeating myself, but you see, I have a lot of people to cover when I pray. So when I pray, I, the prayer I pray for my biological children, I pray for my spiritual children, I pray for my adopted children, I pray for my natural children, because your joy is my joy. Your pain is our pain. And what makes you happy makes me happy, makes us happy. Even if I'm in a revival or a prayer, meeting and they, they, there's a prayer point that is raised and I know somebody who is in that situation. I stand in the gap for that person and I say, Lord, remember this person, remember that, calling them by name. And I said, Lord God, come through for them. Give them a child, bring them to joy, elevate them, promote them, lift them, set them loose in the mighty, open their eyes of their understanding, let them understand you, let them know you, bring them to a closer and deeper relationship with you. And I say those prayers and when I see the answers unfold, I'm like, thank you, Lord Jesus, and then move on to the next prayer point. So CCLC family, I love you. You, you guys have overdone yourself. You and you and Bishop, the things you did, oh my goodness. Oh, only heaven will reward you in the mighty name of none of you shall lose your reward in the name of God will give you a just and a right and a perfect reward in the mighty name of you. My heart blesses you and I love you all. I really do. From the youngest to the oldest. I love you all. The workers, the children. I brought some cards. You see the children? I have some children who their parents told me they, they stayed awake till like 11 30 midnight making cards for me. They actually sat down and they colored their cards and they made it. Wow. Beautiful cards. Happy 50th. You know, I was like, amazing. You know, the children, you teach them in Sunday school, it looks as if they, what you said is going in here and it's coming out the other way, but the hair, the hair, you know, happy 50th birthday. You're a superhero. Love Kiki, super mama. You see, she actually drew it. Can you see? You see? Those are my children. So that is why even on Sunday, after leading praise and worship, doing so many things, I still will, God will give me the strength and the straight grace to come online and do children's church. There's some energy that just oozes out of me. And my class is the, the four-year-old, the five-year-olds, you know, and they want to talk. They want to tell me how, what, how they made their hair, what they did during the week, what their teacher said, and I have a lesson to present to them online. Can you imagine? And I have to listen to all of them. They're such darlings, you know. And then I have something from Tito, brought to you by Mathematic to pastor, pastor, to me, these are little children that I just beginning to write, to pastor, to me, they are alone, Roshaye, can you see, happy birthday, this is cardboard, you know, pastor, to me, they are from CCLC children, seeds of mercy, see the cake, see the 50, see the music, you know, all of that, and then I, there's one that he wrote, um, there's, Happy birthday, love birthday today, love to you every day. Happy birthday, have a lovely time. Happy birthday. You know, they sat down, they actually crafted it. Uh, and happy birthday, Mama. I wish you every blessing. Your 
your something, something, your gosh, this is a cursive, imagine handwriting. I have to try from Ben, Benjamin. Benjamin is, um, he's seven years old, isn't he? Beautiful, see how he mixes colors. He even colored the back. Mom said he didn't sleep until like um, 12 midnight, you know? And he said, I have to show this. He says, this is a short list of the CCLC kids that you have nurtured and cared for. Uh, and um, I also have this one. He's a writer, he wrote me a story. And he titled it Believe. This is Oluwa Tishé. Oluwa Tishé has been my boy from the day he was born. He's 10 years old now. And he wrote a beautiful story about somebody who wanted to live long, two people who wanted to live long. And one of them lived long because they believed in Jesus Christ. And the other one did not believe long because he did not believe in Jesus Christ. And he's, he's, he got, his ears got caught, you know. And that's why I'm encouraging all of you to give your life to Christ if you haven't. Because God said that, you know, he would... Um, Bless us with long life, which are not, we shall live and not die to declare the glory of God. If you're in Christ, long life is a promise for him. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, children. Love you so much. Tito Lua, I know you penned so many things. I'm trying to look for that, your card. I was reading it on my bed. Oh, I hope I didn't leave it off. But thank you, Tito. Thank you, CCLC Kids. Thank you, Seeds of Mercy. Thank you, Tisha. Thank you, Toby. Thank you, Kiki. Thank you for going the extra mile. Thank you, um, Jola. Thank you, Benjamin. Thank you, all of you. Love you loads. Right. You know, we always have hey, well, Thank you, Queen. Thank you for your lovely arts and crafts, you know, I always keep them. You know, now there's lockdown. My 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 uh, my table in the office is full of craft from those kids. I always just keep them there and I keep on watching it. Everything that they make, the form I give me and I put it on my table, but now it's work from home. But at least now I have craft to put on my table while working from home. Thank you everyone, I appreciate you all. Thank you for staying, thank you for waiting this long. Thank you for making this day such a beautiful day for me. And someone was saying, ah, um, why are you cry why do you mention um the grace of god the comfort of god has kept me i mean i i love my parents to beat i miss them every day in fact my husband between my husband and auntie beam they make fun of me you know so i'm like okay don't worry thank god i have the holy spirit he's my comfort and he comforts me so the day i said today's a day of rejoicing no tears if i thought i'd cry to be tears of joy but i believe that my father um uh, mr Matthew Olu Femi Ekwero Kun and my mom of blessed memory, Reverend Mrs. Yetunde Oluwa Seson Ekwero Kun have deposited everything in me to make me who I am today and to live a fulfilled life and a purpose-driven life. They've done their bit and I give God all the glory. I thank them post-mortem in absentia, but I think that in heaven, God is giving them a screen. There's a Zoom in heaven and they are watching us and I have no regrets. And I thank God that both of them knew the Lord, died in the Lord, and they are in heaven, having a, more, a very, very deserved rest for all their labor or of, in our lives. And we'll definitely continue to make them proud and do them proud. And their legacy definitely lives on. And I can never forget my husband. <laughs> the bishop. Oh, my goodness. Ah. When God gave me the confirmation to marry him, it was a visitation. It was a visitation. And I know why it was a visitation. Because anytime anything is going south, I remind God, I said, but you said, he said, no, just hang in there. I'm going to let everything turn around and walk together for your good. Because I always hold him to that word. I said, Lord, we had a conversation at the beginning <laughs> of this union. And I'm just reminding you about that conversation because I know that you are a promise keeper. You are faithful God. You watch over your word to perform it. And I know that you always do. And he never fails a disappointment. Yeah. People say I'm a worshiper. It's the best place to be. That's where I get my strength. That's where I get my inspiration. That's where I, that's, that's my favorite holiday spot in the whole world. It's my go-to <laughs> to place, the presence of the Lord. Mm. There's no place like it on earth or in heaven, definitely. Thank you all. Thank you. Um, Oluadro to me, Emerald and Grace. Ah, oh, thank you for tolerating me. In fact, they were like, ah, this woman, your own is too much. I'm like, look, 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 look. you don't understand. You will understand after all. I said, me too. I thought my mom was like that, but um, I'm equipping you. I'm equipping you. Thank you for tolerating my idiot secrets, my excesses. Thank you for loving me. <laughs> and you know, they, they've grown up to be such mature, even in their tender age. I see them, I learn from them, and I see them so calm, even when I'm about to, like, you know, go over. I flip, you know, flip. And you know, someone like him, I'm like, 
but you love me, mommy. You love me. And you know, that would just <laughs> deflate everything. But then she said in my eyes, it's like, I see mommy's about to be like, you love me. You love me. And I'm like, you know, nobody can resist love. Thank you. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for being so supportive of me. Thank you for understanding. And thank you for yielding to the training that your father and I give you. And I know that definitely, according to that scripture, that the children of the uncompromisingly righteous shall be mighty in the land. You shall be mighty. In the land, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everyone. I love you. God bless you. All right. Wow, that was um, that was a salmon on its own. Well, I don't have much to say. I would just say thank you to everyone for being here. We appreciate you. So I think they can have the open mic if you want to have the open mic now to give a shout to her. You are welcome to do so. Uh, uh, officially. It's over the meeting, so we just have a prayer to thank God. Father, thank you in the name of Jesus for Amen. this meeting. Thank you for the way you have helped us. Thank you for how you have kept the people here yeah. because of love. Thank you so much for all that I've sold towards this particular celebration. Amen. Thank you for their reward is great, Amen. both here on earth and even in heaven. Amen. And all those who have who came to participate on Zoom, who are here participating on Zoom, Amen. and those who are on YouTube, Lord, we say their reward shall be great here and on and in heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we therefore commit everyone to you, Amen. to your word of grace Amen. that is able to keep them, Amen. that is able to build them, Amen. and give them an inheritance among those who are sanctified. Amen. And for those who have made up their mind to follow Jesus, yes. thank you for perfecting the work of redemption Amen. in their life. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 So open mic. You can give her a shout now. You can <laughs> unmute yourself and <laughs> time scream. For the, time for the cake. <laughs> time for the cake. Yeah. We'll send the cake through Zoom. Happy birthday, Carlo. Thank you. Over to you. Oh, oh, oh. Happy birthday, Sister Dion. Yeah. Thank you. Dion, this is Essay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Ah, Essay, Bashiru. Thank you, darling. All the way from Atlanta. Love you. Happy birthday. Where's your Happy face birthday. now? Just a picture there. Happy birthday. Happy Queen. How are you? Thank you. Happy oh. birthday, Mama. Thank you. Where are you? From Tom and Bumi. Happy birthday. Hey, hi Tom, hi Bumi. <laughs> Thank you so much. Love birds. Thank you. Our oh, darling mama. God bless Thank you, you. darling. Hey, hey, man. Thank you. Uh, Happy birthday, from Pastor. Happy birthday, Pastor Olive. God bless you. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you, Happy Pastor Tayo. Happy birthday. Yes, I see you and your darling niece. Oh, yes, you. and my nephew. Come on. <laughs> yeah, your nephew. Hi, darling. Oh. Banke, I see you, Bankilo. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Daya, happy birthday, Falake. Thank you, oh, Falake. Thank you, Doctor Daudu. Thank you, darling. Oh, Thank you so much. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Ah, JKB, the Yetunji Bunch. Thank you. Thank you for your lovely cards, gifts, prayers. Thank you so much. Thank you, Morayo. Thank you. Thank you so Debo much. Debo says happy birthday. Oh, bless him. Regards him. Oh, Debo, hi. You're there. Oh, thank you so much. Wonderful. Happy birthday, Mama. Kemi. Happy birthday, Mama. Kemi. Happy birthday, Mama. This is Ayo. Happy birthday, Dayo. Okay. Happy birthday, Tayo. Many happy returns, Mam T. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Back, back. Happy birthday. Wish you a happy Hi, golden jubilee. Best wishes. I just saw the invite yesterday. So. Oh, okay. God bless. Hello, Auntie Dukwe. Thank you. Kemi, thank you, darling. Thank you for the lovely flowers. Thank you so much. 
Happy birthday, Dario. This is cool. Bye. Bye. I need to disconnect that one so that this is, I can hear partially. Your Holiness. I that still not cool. Ah, I am mixed. <laughs> Uh -uh. There you stop. Dye your gowns. Please post it down. UPS, <laughs> PHL. <laughs> so beautiful. Stop. Congratulations. Beautiful <laughs> ceremony. Hustle for us. Just put it in the post box. Send it down straight. <laughs> uh, you're looking so regal. Uh -uh. Hey, like Queen of the East. Ah, uh, you know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was beautiful. Enjoy your day, darling. Just post it. UPS, Parcel Force, Amazon. <laughs> we together here in three days. From Canada. Canada is not too far from us. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> I see so you, darling. Gorgeous. Thank you so much. You're welcome, love. Enjoy. <laughs> Happy birthday, Diane. Thank you. Yeah, I want to kiss my birthday. Ah, Ronky, oh, bless you. Oh, you made it. Happy birthday, Ma. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> Daya, we've lost your sound, though. Dio, mute yourself, Dio. We can't hear you, Dio. Oh, mute yourself. It's actually not muted. She may have lost. Um... Olu D. Uncle Cool, how you doing? Ah, okay. How are you? Uh, with the blackout, the freezing weather, and all that stuff. Well, you okay? Are you okay? Okay, Diane, now you're muted. Now you're actually muted. Oh, okay. No, we can't hear you. Use your other, your other connection. Use your other Zoom. Uncle, I'll call you after. I don't want to, this is going on YouTube, so I don't want to broadcast everything on YouTube. Okay, sure. Cool, no problem. She's gonna be doing sign language. Okay, she said you should continue. She said you should continue greeting her if you have something to say. I think, think Kunle wanted to wish her a happy birthday. Kunle, what happened to you? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Happy birthday to you. Hey. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Long life, prosperity, more of God's grace, mercy, Amen. peace, and love abound to you, my gorgeous, uber glamorous cousin. God bless you, and I'm sure I'll come and raid your house soon enough. No, no, it's not. It's actually some virgin, isn't it? Amen. Thank you. you. Thank you so much, GB. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, you sound great. Good. Fantastic. Thank you, GB. I was wondering where you were. A and E. Uh, just got, no, 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 I'm, I'm home. I'm home. You're home now. Home. Okay, thank mm. you, darling. No problem, but uh, lovely. You're the nicest the of things. the lot tonight. Thank you, Dalla. <laughs> Dio, you're looking <laughs> for my trouble. 
You know, we have this thing going on now. We occupy the same position with Uncle Daly. So there's a I special will touch you last tonight, Dayo. I have said it. I have put it in. I'm touching you last. Oh, look, I'm touching you last. Gibi, I'm touching you last. Lulu, I'm touching you last. I've touched all of you last tonight. Runke. Wow. <laughs> Touch you last on Zoom. How? Yes, sir. <laughs> Go easy. Thank you. <laughs> Happy yes. birthday, Mama. Oh, wow, Pastor Buki, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything you've done. God bless and reward you immensely in Jesus' name. I'll be arrested. It's nice to see you sitting down. <laughs> Finally, thank you so much. I appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. God bless your family. Thank you. Thank you. To share story is fantastic. So mind blowing. <laughs> Short but with a very strong message. It was great. Yeah, Thank you for me. I've fact, told him in church. I that, owe that's him. his. That's his proof of his relationship <laughs> with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I, exactly. Happy, yes. happy birthday. Is that what makes you think that he doesn't have the Holy Spirit? Let me be careful. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Right. Oh wow. Yes. Dr. Lara Williams, I see your picture there. Thank you. This is Bob. the lady that gave me that nickname, Mama Marie Mama Ra. Mama Ra. I'm here. <laughs> Happy birthday. That's one that looks on the Happy birthday. This is our Brajide and Sister Lola. From Lagos, Abuja. <laughs> I'm not sure she saw your picture. Okay. Uh, yeah, wow. Thank you so much, Rajide. Salola, thank you. Yeah, Salola, happy birthday. Jide, darling. We love oh, you so wow. much. Ah. Happy birthday. Thank to you. To my woman of God, thank ah. you for giving to the Lord. Amen. I'm alive that is blessed. Your giving. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so all. much, Salola. Thank you for always being there for me, Lagos. Wow. All the way <laughs> from Abuja. We're in Abuja. God bless you. Yeah. Wow. It moves. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Brajide. Oh, wonderful times we had together in Riaba. Oh, it's such a blessing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Ah. Happy you, okay. Many happy returns. This is Sidikone speaking. Dayo, can you hear him? Yes. I can, but is that, um, that's Sidikone. I'm trying to find him. Okay. Oh, he's uh, under Ibikule. Search for Ibikule. I B I. Yeah, trying to find him. Yeah, yeah, I see him. I see him there, right there, right in front of me. I can see you. You've seen me well. Yes, I'm just trying to get used to you okay. as the people. Happy birthday, many happy returns. <laughs> uh, that's, that's my name, Kunle, Kunle Ajayi. Yeah. <laughs> so the full the full name is uh, Ibi Kunle. Ibi Kunle, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yes, okay. Too. Happy birthday, many happy returns. Wish you the best as Amen. we enter into this golden Amen. age. Many more years to come in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank and you. And I extend my good so, to Bishop. Yes, sir. I will. I will, definitely. Thank Amen. you. Thank you, cousin. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, my dear cousin. Thank you. So, I see your display there. Very beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, Mama. Mr. Deji. Okay. Happy birthday, yes, ma'am. How are you? Very fine. COVID did not allow us to be in London with you. Ah, mm. 
But just leave COVID alone. No? COVID. We have but to reduce this. We have to reduce this party. Yo. So don't think it's over. <laughs> we have to do it because we'll, we'll do it. <laughs> we have done it. This is party. There's cake here. You know, lovely cake. No, that is how London. That is how London people do party. Nigerian people don't do party like that. So that is your own party. Our own party is still coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hear you. I'll remind you. Thank you so much, Deji. No, thank Definitely. you very much. Thank you very much, Anna, for who you have always been. So, what they promised us another speech. Where is he? Where is Uncle Wally? He's muted somewhere there and hiding. <laughs> He's preparing the solo that um, Tony did not allow him to sing. The, with the one he sang with the money that uh, <laughs> he went to the waterworks. Honestly, <laughs> real waterworks. <laughs> he was holding his own. Oh, oh my god! Oh, I, I think. Mm. Anyway, Mama, thank you for always being who you have always been. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, when I was when I was writing your tribute, I was a little emotional. I don't know, I'm too emotional this week, <laughs> you know. And it, oh, oh, one of the things I realized when I was writing that tribute was the fact that you treated me like the younger brother you never had. That's true. So it never occurred to me. You know, it never occurred to me. But when I was writing, that was the first thing that popped up in my head. That mama, mm -hmm. mama is just always like, mama, that sister. <laughs> you know, the way she would talk to you, the way she would just advise you, the way she would she would just, just do that thing. And that was the first thing that popped up in my head. Another thing that popped up in my head was how you taught me how to pray about mundane things. Like, I'm taking you out. Hello? Hello? We can hear you. Oh, okay, I think there is no. So, you know, at times I'm taking her out, driving in Lagos, and she will say, let's pray about traffic. In my mind, I'm like, who prays about traffic? That the Holy Spirit will direct us on which path to take, which road to take, you know, little, little mundane things like that. And up until now, it's like a habit that I still have. You know, what do I wear? To, what, what, what do I wear tomorrow? You know, I'm going for this meeting. What should I do? How should I, you know, all those little, little things. Um, you really thought me that. And for me, I think the high point was the fact that um, my wife today, I, I met her when she came to see you in the house. And I was in the house and it was getting late, you know. And you're like, ah, did you just help me walk this young woman to where she would get a cab from, you know, because it's late. It was Antony that year. And we've been married for almost 12 years now. So, so I look at my life, I look at my family, I look at everything and your footprint is just everywhere. You know, I mean, remarkable footprints. And one of the things that also strike me about you is your ability to 